Hello. Hello, good morning. Weeble wobble. Hello, how is your morning going? Ugra, how's your morning going? Many with the park. Hmm. Thought you'd get the first person to enter the chat prize. It's a redeem. You have to go into the store and redeem that you were the first one here. So it's like a race. Whomever gets to the button first. Um, but, uh, um, good morning. Hello. Yeah, it's a, it's a button in the chat. If you click in your, uh, in your channel, channel points, you can go in there and click, uh, first, which there's only one of, so it doesn't work now, but redeem. It's a redeem. Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing? You're not on your phone, so you don't know how to get to the store. It should be next to the chat box. I use a pretty much, if I am not streaming, I am using mobile, which, you know, is unfortunate, but uh, I can't be stuck to my computer all day. Good morning, Unplug Me! How's your day going so far? I just ate my breakfast cheesecake and I'm ready to go. have a tiny cup of coffee so that I can get my coffee inside of me quicker. <laughs> Does that make sense to anyone else? Does that make sense to anyone else? The tiny cup cools off faster, therefore you drink the tiny cup first so that you get more coffee quicker. And by the time you finish this, the other one is cooled off enough to drink logic. I am okay. I'm okay. I fell asleep on one of my rare falls asleep that I didn't have to like convince myself to fall asleep. Oh, I have comments about my earrings because my earrings, my earrings, they were a giveaway that I won. Oh, S, good morning. Good morning. So my earrings were from a giveaway from Boyd's uh, Custom Fab. Boyd's wife, Walnut, makes jewelry and home decor items. And I won these earrings. And they're super cute. They're half wood and half resin. They're very pretty. They just came in the P.O. box yesterday. I picked them up and I was like, I'm going to wear these today. If you want to give Boyd a follow, um, there's a little box up at the top of your chat. Click, click that heart. Um, I believe there is a link to their store on Boyd's Twitch page. If you like something like this, you can go check out their website. Check out Boyd when he's live. Boyd is an amazing woodsman, <laughs> woodcrafter. <laughs> Woodcrafter and a hilarious streamer. I am oh so impressed with the setup that Boyd has. I don't even know how it all works, but it's amazing. It's amazing. But yeah. They are very, very cute earrings. I had many options too. I was really like between like this pink and like a green was like a uh, it was light but like muted green like this shade but green and I was like mm, I might wear more green but the pink looks so good you don't have a whole heck of a lot to wear with this color pink but I kind of dig it so I went with the pink I went with the pink Cause I like myself some overly large earrings. Well, yeah, this is my only pink. This is my only pink t-shirt though. <laughs> this is the only thing pink I own. 
Although these would go okay with my um, spooky pinafore because that has some pink accents in the fabric. Um, this is about my only pink, pink shirt. I have one other pink shirt, but it's, I made it last year in too big, too large. I need to take it in. I'm always hesitant to take things in. So I'm like, but what if it shrinks or, <laughs> but it's been a year almost since I made that shirt and it's still too big. Probably in the future. It'll also go really well with the dress I'm planning on making. Anytime now. Because I've been putting off sewing. For some reason. For some reason I've been putting off sewing. But what are we all here for? Perhaps, so you can see the sweater. <laughs> you sewed something yesterday. Yeah, but like just hand sewing. I didn't make a garment yesterday. It is not all in, well, it's all technically in one piece, but it's not completed. So if you notice, it's it's on some knitting needles again. It's on some knitting needles. Because I was unable to do the neckline yesterday. After stream. It is almost done. So the sleeves and the front panels and the back are all together. It's all one piece now. We just have to add a neckline. So that's what I was thinking we would get up to today. Finish this. Um, I did procrastinate working on this at all yesterday because I went to the craft store instead. <laughs> As one does. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of fiber it is. It was in an unmarked box with unmarked skeins in my grandmother's <laughs> craft stash. <laughs> so I have no idea what it is. <laughs> unmarked. I don't know how old it was. I don't know. I don't know what its composition is. It was just uh, hanging out in a box and I thought it was pretty. Like, I'm gonna make something out of it. So, yeah, yeah, grab a yarn. Um, which is nice. That That's part of the reason why I wanted to work, work on it today. I'm thinking of my grandmother today. Um, she has caught the stomach flu and she unfortunately is not not feeling good. So I don't get to visit her today. Usually I visit my grandma on Wednesdays. Um, but stomach flu is is not something I wish to have a second time this year. So um, I have to stay. I have to stay home today. Well, my grandmother's like. Like my best friend at this point. Not gonna lie. Aw, thank you. I'm hoping she does does get better soon as well. Okay. I have a lot of balls in my basket. Heck. Okay. From the wrong side. Flip from holders to side six needles. Okay, I did that part. From right side, slip the 11 stitches of the right front neck edge from two free size 6 needles. Mm. 
Okay. So it looks like what we're going to start with is this side of the neck. So I am going to slip these on over. I've done most, uh, I've finished most of the buttonholes at this point. I just have two left to go. I have to sew the facing. You are no. No, I, I go to visit her. Um, my, my mom is her main caretaker. But my mom also works. So on some of the days my mom works, I go and hang out with her. Because I'm the only one she could tolerate. <laughs> Which sounds bad. Or is that a good thing? <laughs> okay, join the... With the same needle. Pick up. And knit. Eight stitches. Nah, I love I love my grandma. She's she's funny. I get the humor in it. My siblings don't get the, don't really. No, I don't understand that. But I do. I do. Plus we we have a lot in common, me and my grandmother. We do a lot of the same things. Crafting stuff, you know. Okay, crochet hook. This one will do. This will do. So what we are going to do, we are going to pick up eight stitches and put them on a needle. So I'm going to pay attention to where these stitches are. So right here, I'm going to take my crochet hook, I'm going to poke it through. I'm going to yarn over. And I'm going to pick up a stitch. Just like you would in crochet. This is obviously not 100% crochet because I'm, I'm knitting. But this is the easiest way I have found to pick up stitches when you're knitting. So that's one. And then you're going to put your crochet hook in the next stitch of your neckline. Again, yarn over. And hopefully if it doesn't give you any troubles, which it did, you can just pull it right through. Sometimes it wants to give you trouble. There we are. Through. Let's do stitches. So what we're doing is there's this neck line edge here that is finished. Um, what I'm doing is picking up a stitch from there and putting it on the needles so that we can knit the neckline. Since it's already technically bound off, for shaping reasons. You have to pick up stitches. And this is the easiest way I've found to do it. So that's three. Four. Whoa. Am 
I'm between two or did I get it? Yep, I'm between two. I wanted to make sure it was between two. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can tighten these up once they're all on, but um, I'm not going to worry about it too much while I'm trying to pick up these stitches. Seven. And here's the eight. There we go. The eight stitches that we're going to need. Yarnia, hello! You need to lurk as you have a very busy schedule. Well, you have yourself a good lurk. You'll, you'll take my word for it. Yes, but that's what you do when you have a finished edge and you need to pick up stitches. Is that that's the technique you use. That is how you do it. That's how you do it. I am! I hope you are too. You have a great day at work. Have a good lurk. I always appreciate you, Yarnia. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning. How's your morning going? How am I? I am doing swell. I am doing swell. I am finishing up the last couple steps to the cardigan. Uh, the cardigan is all in one piece now. It's all in one piece. Hi, Jimmy! Jimmy, how is your morning going? How is your morning going? I hope it's going well. Hope it's going well. Chaos? Don't cause chaos. It's too early for chaos. Too early for chaos. Join with this, pick up and knit eight stitches. Okay, did that. Right front neck edge, knit 18. Ooh. So it's evening. Okay, okay. Evening. Good evening. Good evening, Jimmy. Are you all throwing a chaos party? party. Not on this. Not on this day. The day of. The day of my sweater finishing party. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Eight stitches along the right front neck edge. What happened to that alert? Ah. OS gifting a sub to Up Shelly. Thank you, OS, so much for that gift sub. You're starting the chaos early this morning. Are you starting the chaos early? Are we chaosing early? Are we chaosing early? Shelly. 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 My dear. What is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Not a skill stream without a little bit of chaos. This is true. This is true. We are a little heckin' chaotic. Orange! Okay. We have some orange options. We have some orange. We have this orange, which is from the sweater, but I have a ton extra, so it's gonna be joining the Thank It yarn pretty soon. We have this burnt orange which is also part of the but it's also joining the thank it soon and we have this orange we have a peach we have let's see let us see 
I could honestly eat it for every meal. Or just eat it all the time without even stopping. <laughs> Calissa stitches! No, why would I get fat? This bread makes you fat. This bread, bread makes you fat? <laughs> Calissa stitches, welcome on in. Welcome on in. I hope your day's going well. Hope your day's going well. We are just getting out. Floating around in the background while you tidy up. Well, you have yourself a good tidy. Jimmy, you have a good tidy. Is there a stronger, brighter one? There might be. Give me a second. But, uh, Gliss! Kelis! What we do around here, we came in while we were doing what we do when we get a when we get a sub in the channel. We knit a line of stitches on the blanket of thanks. I have to find some orange though. I believe there is one writer. Surprisingly enough. There, this one is brighter, I promise. <laughs> the brighter, I shall, I shall. It's got a little, it's on a little one. As orange as you can get, definitely. Coffee Munch Lax, I am doing well. How are you? Welcome in. I absolutely love, I love your username. It's gonna look extra lovely next to all of, all of this blue, Shelly. All of this blue. It's gonna look fabulous. We don't get a whole lot of orange. Not many people choose the orange. You have a stuffy nose, but okay, otherwise. Oh, well, I hope your stuffy nose goes away from for you soon. Uh, I hate, I hate having a stuffy nose. I hate having a stuffy nose. I have a hard time breathing through my nose as it is. So when, when my body makes it even worse, I say, uh-uh, uh-uh. So hopefully better soon. Hopefully better soon. Thanks for up, uh, Shelly. Thank you for being the odd person who chooses the orange because not many people choose orange, but I love orange. I really like when it ends up like right next to all the blues because it really, really pops. Really pops. Packin' pops. Oh, here we are, here we go. It is! I'm so pleased with how, how it looks. It is very crazy though. It is a very, very bright and colorful thing. But I'm so excited to see how it... Good something, don't know what's good today. Oh, the color orange is good today. The color orange is, is good today. So good orange to you. <laughs> good orange to you. Aren't you glad to see me? I, I am orange. I am very orange to see you. Pretty colors, thank you. So you you haven't been in chatting before, so you may not know what this is. Um, every time I get a gift sub or sub in my channel, I knit a line of stitches into a blanket. And everyone says, this is thin. How is this a blanket? Um, I make panels and I sew them together 
to widen out to be a blanket because a whole line of blanket stitches would be like 200 stitches and uh, I only do 30 at a time. So this is my sub blanket. So this is made out of the love of all of the people I've met as I have been streaming. Aw, oh, comfy munch likes. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in, welcome in. A scissors. A scissors. Yes, this it's only fitting that you uh, redeem the caffeinate. <laughs> only fitting, only fitting. What color is yours? Weren't here to choose when you got a gift sub. Um, what day did you get yours? Do you know? Was it last week? Was it the week before? Because it was a picture. Unplug me. Yours is most likely one of the lovely artworks. But, Shelly, this one is yours. I think it was last week, so it could be in this cat. It could be in this heart here. It could be in... The, we, you were here for the hot sauce, so I don't, I don't know if... I don't think it was the hot sauce. But this most of the pictures are gifted subs. Um, when when people gift subs, they do get a little. I'm pretty sure they were in your cat. Okay, Sid Sid says unplug me that you were one of the gift subs of the kitty. You were here. You were the kitty. You're in the cat. So, uh, people do get pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty creative with their gift subs. Um, for five or more gift subs, you can get, uh, a picture or words knit into your stitches. Um, so we get some artwork. <laughs> Every once in a while. It's fun. It's fun. We have a good time with it. But the the second panel is catching up to the first pretty quickly. It is catching up to the first pretty quickly. Which is surprising because this has only been a month. It kind of terrifies me and is exciting at the same time. Because this panel We suddenly joined a cult. <laughs> Don't you want devoted followers? One of us. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, yeah. You are you are in this now. One of us. One of us. One of us. Every one once in a while, we turn into a, uh, we turn into a cult. One of us. One of us. One of us. I have seen knitted frogs in sweaters. Somebody in the community makes some. One of us. I know, me too. I, I tried my best to get them to line up. One of us. I might have you guys coordinate with each other to go for a tempo. One of us. Or I might edit it at a time where I have more time to get it to line up. Because, uh, yeah, I want it to line up. I just, I did it in the morning before I started streaming, so I didn't have a whole lot of time to edit. They are the most adorable. The most adorable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to spread hers out. I had to put spaces uh, in the middle of hers to make it a little longer. Awesome t-shirt, thank you! Thank you, I had to wear this one. Yeah. 
I wanted to leave uh, some time uh, in case people wanted to try to get all of the cult alerts. So I left a little extra time, but I think that I'll shorten it up. I think I'll shorten it up. A tempo. Yeah, I'll have to try to figure out um, how 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 to do all all of the things. All of the things. Oh no. Wow, that one changed all on its own. Okay, we'll try again. We will try again. Gah! Ooh, yes, today we're- we're I need to update that, by the way. One syllable, so maybe just a four count. One of us. One of us. Yeah, yeah. So to say, you probably know more about music than I do. <laughs> Tempo. Yes, yes. Um. So of those that are listed, I'm working on the last step of the color tone card again. The sheep plush is knit and dressed. Well, it doesn't have shoes on, but. Um, I'm gonna make clothes for that as we go, uh, and I'm still working on everything else, except I kind of, like, scrapped the fingerless gloves. Um, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. You do crochet, you love knitting stuff. I just recently started- I just recently learned how to crochet. So, in addition to that, I have a couple other projects that I'm working on that are crochet items because I just learned how to crochet. I just learned um, a couple weeks ago. Um, my lovely chat taught me. So I've been trying to uh, learn a little more as I go. Okay, that looks okay. I was worried. So what I am doing is I picked up a bunch of stitches on the neck edge and I'm now doing some knitting to that. I picked up stitches. Now we have a neckline to work. So we're knitting across the neckline. My sweater is all in one piece now. Um, all that's left to do is sew together some side seams, underarm seams, and add some buttons. So I'm pretty excited about it. Because I've been working on this um, since fairly early um, in my streaming, which I've only been streaming for five months, just about five months. Okay, we have ourselves, hopefully not too much of a hole right there. I can fix that. But I was going to stop to show you my hat that I'm working on. I'm crocheting a hat. <laughs> crocheting a hat. I think it's cute. <laughs> I have some things inside. Yes. And I have finished. I don't know if I'm holding it up right, but the uh, fins. 
So I have a tail fin, another eye, and uh, the whisker left to do on this. So theoretically, I'm almost finished. So yeah, we have a we have a fish, we have a fish hat. Thank you. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's it's my first full sized crocheted item. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay, next instruction. Up, knit 18. See, this is where it's confusing. Along the right front. You're crocheting a hexagon cardigan. Ooh, I've seen those. They are amazing. They are amazing. I am heckin' confused here. Pick up and knit eight stitches along the right front neck. Okay. So I did that backwards, but it should be okay, theoretically. That I did the left instead. Okay. Knit 18. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Okay, I guess I need to back this up because I did the right side. I was I did the left side. You have yarn. Oh, yarn break and play graveyard keeper on switch state. Nice, nice. So I did the left side of the cardigan. I'm supposed to be doing the right side of the cardigan. Heck, undo all the work we did today. What if we completely undid all the work we've done today? Because I don't know what direction is left or right. <laughs> But this pattern is from the 70s and is worded funny, so I do blame the pattern for this. <laughs> I blame the pattern. I 100% blame the pattern. I'm allowed. I'm allowed. Okay, so the rest of these I can just flip off because these are all the ones that I picked up um, and therefore will not fall apart when I take them off. So apparently we're supposed to be going the opposite direction. So I'm gonna have to put all of my stitches on this needle going the other direction. Good morning, Ellie. Ellie, how's your morning going? Well, is it still morning for you? is also a question I should ask, because I'm not sure that it is. Like Deadpool. Yeah. So... We need to be going the opposite way, which means all of these need to be going the opposite way on the stitches. And this would be no problem if I was using circular needles. Um, however, my circular needles that are size six are in use. <gasps> Deb, good morning, love. How is your day going? How's your day going? Mm. 
No, it's 12 p.m. here. Yeah, it's afternoon then. It's afternoon. Well, have yourself a good afternoon. Have yourself a good afternoon. I am trying to finish this cardigan today. Uh, right now, the issue mainly is that uh, the neckline needs to be finished. And it's heckin' confusing. Heckin' confusing. I don't like it. Okay. But, oh, perhaps this all needs to be on this still. Okay. Right. The, like, ten stitches. Seven. Eight. Nine. Okay. Force yourself out of bed after two hours of scrolling on your phone waiting for your package right now. Oh, well, good job for getting out of bed. That can be hard some mornings. For sure. For sure. Well, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Because you guys are all what gets me out of bed in the morning. Feel it. I feel it. Okay, now... We face the right direction, I guess. Today, you don't consider yourself out of bed yet. Ah. Uh, okay, from the right side, slip the 11 stitches of the right front neck edge to the free size 6 needle. Got you. Join D. Okay. Join D. D, where you at? I got the D. And then we grab R. It's been hard for the last few days, really. You have to go back to the hospital tomorrow. Oh no. Oh no. Well, hopefully, you can get yourself up and going a little better. How are your eyes doing? Are they, have they improved to the point where you can at least see what you're doing? There we go. Okay, we put this on the needle. So we're meant to pick up eight stitches. That's the tail. Here's our working. I'm gonna try to get this to a place where you can actually see it. Um, trying to crochet for a bit. Ah, you can see what you're doing, but you're in constant pain at the moment. Oh no. They have to go to- yeah, for sure. Figure out what- what is causing the pain. Nobody should have to live in pain all of the time. Three. Just want to give you a hug and tell you it'll, it'll all be all right. One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten, eleven. So I picked up three. Yeah, it's time that uh, somebody takes care of that. That is way too long to be to be living with that. Way too long to be living with that. Still waiting for your new glass. Oh. 
That is just a never-ending cycle with those things, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Four. I keep forgetting what number I've said. Oh, I think it's not going to. Oh, well, hopefully it does exceed your expectations. And get you to a better point soon. I know I'm optimistic. I'm always optimistic. I always hope that things do get better. Five. Six. <gasps> Shoo! Good morning. Seven. And this will make eight. Eight. Okay, I have eight stitches. You have yourself a... You have yourself a good lurk while you play some games. You have yourself a good game. The job you lost at Spend Downhill. Aw, well I hope it gets... I can still hope that it gets better for you. I know, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I know the feeling. I, I, I've been there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab myself some more coffee. First step. Second step, I'm gonna try to figure out how to decipher this these directions. So coffee first, then uh, translating some 30, 40 year old <laughs> directions. <laughs> I shall return momentarily. Hey. Maybe. I'll see you in a bit.
Well then, well then. <laughs> I spilled my coffee when I was pouring it and I made a heckin' mess. I made a heckin' mess, disaster! Hello, good morning. Well, good evening to you. Good morning to me, but good evening to you. How is your evening going, disaster? How? I am happy to have a morning. <laughs> I am having myself a morning. All right. I think what it wants me to do is to somehow manage to get all of these on one needle yeah I went to pour myself a cup of coffee and I was gone so long because I spilled it all over my kitchen <laughs> finish all your activities for this weekend oh it's the last week at your master's program nice nice kind of on a mini vacation from studying until the next course opens lovely you deserve a break you deserve yourself a break Oh, the whole lid is not all the way on. I'm going to cause myself to have a bit of a mess. You still have to go to work and stuff, but you don't have to also study, which is a plus. Oh yeah, I can only imagine. Can only imagine. I, yeah, that's a lot. Full-time job, to, like full-time school, full-time job. That is a heck of a lot. Heck of a lot. Heck of a lot. So we joined D, picked up eight stitches uh, along the right front neck. Knit 18. Okay, so what I'm assuming we're supposed to do. You can also watch you. You're excited about that. Oh, I'm excited about that too. I'm excited about that too. You know what I'm really excited about? On Friday. I'm a part of a raid train. And sassy Charlene is in front of me in the raid train. And we met because uh, sassy Charlene spends a whole lot of time in Discord on calls with you during your streams. And I thought that it was super exciting that we were going to be uh, right next to each other. In a raid train. I'm very excited. I'm excited about it. Okay, so I guess I'm going to move all these on over. <sighs> all of these on over to this. Sassy is the best. True, very true. I, I've never been on one either, so this is my first one. And it's a little, a little scary, but... I think we'll do okay. I'm mostly just worried about streaming at a time where I'm I'm not usually streaming. Because it's at uh, 10 p.m. my time, which is uh, fairly late for me. <laughs> okay, so I took it as we needed to then put all of these back on this stick, on this needle. Uh, but uh, if you haven't been here for a while, I almost have a full cardigan. It's all in one piece. It's all in one piece. All in one piece. It's coming together. Okay. But if I do that, then this is over here. And therefore, I can't really use it. I don't know what I'm doing with this pattern. The directions are again confusing. Eight stitches on knit 18. Okay. So knit 18. I can knit 18. This is not the problem, but I just have to add in another line of yarn. 
Which, uh, how many lines of yarn can one person add into their project? Telling you, probably about 50. Two. Three. Four. And eight. John! Good morning, John. It's Wednesday. How's your day going? Eight. Nine. We have a Stream Raiders battle to get to. Nine. Nine. And I will put the curse over there. There we go. And we do the battle. Twelve. Thirteen. You meant to wake up- oh, uh oh. You meant to wake up around 10 yesterday, then 2, 2 a.m. happened. 2 p.m. happened. Uh oh. We are not- we are not accomplishing much this morning on the Stream Raiders. No siree. Do the Archer this time? Maybe? Um, we'll try. We'll try. We'll try again. <gasps> Lobatraz! Good morning! How's your morning going? Moo! Everybody's coming in today. Oops. Everybody's coming in today. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I am doing swell. I'm being thoroughly confused by a pattern from the 1970s. As I do. As I do. <laughs> Become thoroughly, thoroughly confused by the 70s. Don't we all? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have a few more stitches to pick up. Fifteen. Heck. Sixteen! Um... Just a second. Seventeen. I will explain to you about these earrings. Earrings. So... And the eighteenth. But you think you're doing okay? <laughs> I love that. Okay. Okay, we have a we have a thing. Okay, we have a thing. So these earrings. These earrings. You know a baker very confused fused by the 70s and other periods between 1900 and 1990. Yeah. Oh, well, so these earrings. These earrings were a giveaway that I won. Um from the talented and lovely Boyd's Custom Fab. They were made by Walnut. And they're very cute. They're very cute. They're half wood, half, half acrylic. I love them. I received them yesterday. They are very amazing. Very amazing. I'm very excited. And like Boyd is going to hop on their uh, like dashboard later and see that I shouted them out like 50 times, but.
But you should be. You should be. You should be uh, hanging out with Boyd. Boyd is amazing and such a lovely, such a lovely human and such a talented person. As you should. Boyd is awesome. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Ooh, that's one too many stitches. Okay, so this one is not meant to be knitted. It is meant to be the slip stitch. So we slip. This one is a knit. Heck. This one is a knit stitch. Don't want to follow that guy. Jeez, he sends me wonderful things in the mail and everything. I missed the mail opening, Moo. My phone died before the mail opening. If you saw that I disappeared suddenly, it's because my phone died. <laughs> my phone died. Okay, so that was the SKP. Knit 17. Agent China, thank you, thank you. One of my favorites. <laughs> Dropping a hundo bomb on it. Oh no! Yeah, my phone died and then I didn't get back up until after you were off. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Ew. <gasps> Forgot hydration. The best I can do you for right now is a coffee. So I will get you a coffee, and next time I go on break, I will get myself some water. Death does ride a pale unicorn. But it's like the only shirt that I have that matches these. I am going to make myself a sweater that matches these, though. So I'll look extra fancy. Because Sinan sent me some yarn that matches with these perfectly. So, I think I want to make like a sweater that matches these earrings that I can also wear with the... Uh, just in time for next spring. Well, I'll tell you, cardigans are complex, okay? Cardigans are complex. You're having coffee too? It is early, it is early. I don't know what time it is for you, but for me, it's only just before 8 o'clock. Just before 8 o'clock. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, we have four. We have four. Five. Yes. <gasps> Red fluffy demon. Hello, hello. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and all is well. Curse pattern with the fro four frog sections, yes. Start a new color in the wrong section, so now it's five. Oh no! In the same time zone, you're gonna ask how you can stream so early. Ah, uh, yes, I, I like, I do enjoy streaming early in the morning. That's when I have the most energy. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten! 
11. Fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're getting somewhere. What's the directions after seventeen? Pick up and knit. Okay, but here's where I'm confused. Because now it wants me to pick up and knit these stitches. Okay? Those stitches are nowhere near where I'm working. So this pattern is just so poorly written. So poorly written. I'm so angry. I do not know how to fix this issue. Ugh. Making me angry. This looks like witchcraft. <laughs> so maybe the thing was that I wasn't supposed to knit these a second time at all. This pattern is gonna frustrate me to all get out. I wanted to finish this today, but at this rate, I'm just gonna keep frogging my work and I'm gonna end up just mad. And I'm mad. Gonna end up mad. Yep. You don't need to rib it at me. It makes me feel sad. Cause this is the second frog of the day. The second frog of the day. Makes me sad. Don't rib it at me, it makes me sad. Sweet, you forgot why- Oh! Forgot already why you followed, but you remember- Yeah, Oh, That's sweet. Someone needs to make you- I don't have enough emotes to have any more emotes for you guys to make fun of me with, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was in more pain than you were. Oh. I feel that one. I feel that one. But it's so sad. My heck in time. All of my heckin' time, all of my heckin' time. Okay, that's the slip, which is why it's so heckin' difficult to do. All right, all right. You should have some emote space, yeah. Are you gonna use your emotes for evil, John? <laughs> John, you're gonna use your emote space for evil? For evil? For making fun of one Kells? Just a poor unsuspecting Kells? And every other person who I guess has to frog. So it's not really just me, it's just... Although, if you ever do uh, makers and crafting streams, then it would make sense for you to have a frog. Boo! Yes, I'm frogging. I'm frogging, Pixie. I'm frogging. Because this heckin' 70s pattern is poorly worded. I'm just a gal that's trying. Just trying to finish a cardigan. You made an animated emote for someone recently? Nice! Nice. You had to frog some of your cross stitch that you did on stream last week? Oh no! Oh no! 
I'm... You tried. That's all anyone could ever... Exactly. I'm just a little disappointed is all, because this is the second time I'm trying to do this bit. This is my second time trying to do this, this section. This is my second trial of following this direction. How many you working on decided is to do the last 10 or 15 rows again once so you have to get, you've got to row 75. Ah, uh, it's not big enough yet. Oh no. What kind of yarn is it? I have no idea. It was unlabeled and in a box at my grandmother's house. This is grandma yarn. That's all I know about it. This is grandma yarn. Well, I do know that it's orange. It, yeah, I know what weight it is and I know <laughs> that it's orange. <laughs> That's all I know. Bit thicker. Then double knit. It's acrylic. Okay. See, you know more. Pixie knows more about yarn than I do. I don't know how to tell the composition of yarn just from looking at it. Orange, yellow, purple. True, it does have some purple in it. Yellow? And red. Yeah, there is red and brown. Okay, so these are the stitches I picked up. So I apparently don't need to knit these the first, uh, this round. Okay. Apparently these ones were ones that I didn't need to try to, to use the directions on. Okay. So the ones I picked up can all stay on this needle. Okay. Those are all of the pick up stitches. So I'm supposed to knit. Pick up eight stitches along the front right neck edge, knit 18. You can get an idea. Oh, no, no. I thought you were talking about mine. And I thought you could tell what what composition it was just from looking at it, so I was confused. Okay. Um, actually, that would mean that um, we just need to take all of these and tuck them in, giving myself and get an idea. Back to sleep for a bit. You have yourself a good night's sleep, John. I appreciate you. You deserve that sleep. You deserve to feel well rested. Well rested. Meal. Or just eat it all Ellie, not so stopping. smelly. And get fat. I no love your fat. name. Bread makes you fat. I love your name. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Three. Four. Five. I will hold this up. Looks like acrylic, might be acrylic wool blend. Okay. You're a day walker today, but not yet. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're at five. Six. Seven. That should be enough, eight. Eleven. Ooh, why am I knitting with the tiny, tiniest of? Because I started knitting with the wrong one. Why am I on the struggle bus today? Can anyone tell me that? Why have I decided to struggle so hard today? Why have I decided to struggle so much today? Okay. You know. You know, I've apparently decided that today is a day for struggling. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Happy Camel Day! Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, now I can show you. Now I can show you what we're working with. There you go, Pixie. This is what it looks like. Makes you feel any... Uh, you thought it was Tuesday today. Oh, man. I hate when I make... When I uh, feel like it's the, uh, the day before. Because then you're, like, that much further from the weekend. George R. Binks, hello, hello. Casey, hello, hello, Casey Neal. How's your day going? Jar Jar, how's your day going? Definitely looks like wool fiber in there. Okay. Okay. Same. I'm so glad it's not Tuesday as well. <laughs> it's stiffer than acrylic. It definitely feels stiffer. LOL! Good morning, dear! Good morning, dear. How's your morning going? You feeling any better today? You feeling any better today? Your day is all pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. Mine is not pink fluffy unicorns. It is white... white oddly surprised death unicorn. Your day just started. Yeah, so far so good. Mine just started as well. I, I'm saying this as I know I've been awake for two hours now. I like this for you. I like this for you, Ello. I'm glad you're feeling much better. <laughs> okay, let me do a thing. I'm not with Voldemort. I'm with the Grim Reaper. I am hanging out with the Grim Reaper. You've been up for an hour, just clocked into work. Nice. Nice. I've been clocked into work for about exactly one hour, 29 minutes, and 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, slip knit. Pass. Flip. Knit. Pass. Okay. This makes more sense now. Knit 17. Heck and goodness, 17. Okay, so see, this actually works out this time. So, after frogging twice, I have finally made it to the point where I'm supposed to actually pick up stitches. See, if you follow the directions, it all works out. It all works out when you follow the directions. Imagine, imagine, unproductive with your re resin stuffs keeping up on your Facebook page because of the pain, great. Great. Okay, so now I have to use my crochet hook 
What are directions? Exactly. Well, these are 1970s directions, and believe me, are they heckin' confusing sometimes. Heckin' confusing. So here we pick up and knit eight stitches. So, instead of picking up and knitting them, we're going to pick them up with the crochet hook, which does give... Um, so the easiest way, Agent, that I have learned to pick up stitches and knit them is to use a crochet hook. So I'll show you how I do this. So, what I do, what I do. You ran your Wednesday reports yesterday. Oops. <laughs> so what I do, I find myself the edge here, the, the top of a stitch. And I will put my crochet hook through. Then I'll take my working yarn, I'll yarn over, and I will bring my working yarn through that stitch to pick it up. So this does the does the picking up and the knitting of said stitch. So you'll see I'll now have a stitch on the crochet hook. Frogging is taking out your stitches. Like a lot of stitches all at once. And then I have another stitch on my needle. So that makes one stitch. So then I'll find the top of the next row of stitches, which it looks like it is. Right here. And then I will take this. crochet hook. I will stick my crochet hook in the top of that stitch. So I'm on a curve, so it's kind of hard to find the top of the stitches. And then I will again... Oh, your subscription ended! Sag! Very sad. All the good things come to end. And then... You'll see I have another, I'll have another stitch. And then I'll put that stitch on my needle, tighten it up. And that would make two, two new stitches on my needles. So there we go. So that's this line of stitches. So this line of stitches is right here. We then do the same thing again. So right here is where that the top of those stitches are. We take our our, our hook. Wow! Take our hook, we stick it in, we yarn over, we pull a loop through, and then we put it on the needle to pick up a stitch. So you just have to do that several times, and then you have uh, all the stitches that you need. This is easier opposed to um, taking this needle. So the first way I learned how to do it was to take your needle that you're working with and find the edge of each of these stitches and put them on your needle one by one and pick them up this way. But then you would have to go in and knit the stitches again. So the process of doing it with the crochet hook means that you don't have to then knit them because you're technically pulling through a new loop, which is technically making a knit stitch. It's, it's, yeah, because when you think about it, as you're picking up these stitches with this needle, you're taking up a lot of the slack at the top of these stitches. So once you get, say, to the end of picking up these stitches, there's not a whole lot of extra slack to use. So your stitches usually end up very tight. And, you know, you don't want to have very, very, very tight stitches. Because they're hard to knit. They're hard to knit. Okay. So this is kind of like doing surgery. 
but it means you 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 can have a much neater looking row of stitches. At least from my experience, it's much neater. So here we are. And then two, three, four, five. This one is going to be the sixth of eight. Go. Epoch! What happened? I needed to do the uh, neckline still. So the neckline needed to be finished. I didn't finish it off stream. I, I did not get to it last night when I expected to. I was feeling a little, little off. So I finished the main portion of this, um, but and then I didn't finish the neckline. So the last thing I have to do is the neckline. Seven, and then this will be eight right here. And then it will all be uphill after this. Which means it's gonna get harder and worse. <laughs> it's all gonna be uphill from here. So that makes our eight stitches. But it is in one piece. If you can if you can see, it's all one piece now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, maybe I do have one more stitch to go. It's all uphill from here. <laughs> I'm making jokes because I have frogged this line twice. Uh, it's it's a it's been a battle this morning. It has been a battle. And speaking of battles, we have one to fight. So let's head on over to Stream Raiders <laughs> and see if we can win this battle because we've tried a couple times this morning already, and it's not going well. This is not going well. Let's do a stronghold uh, right there, and then let's battle. Knit remaining 11 stitches. Okay. That we can do. Okay, give me a second here. Sorry, I had to do something real quick. Ah. I guess we're just gonna keep trying this one because we can't do anything else. So, uh, I might as well just keep trying, eh? Let's 
be yes here we go here we go you believe i believe this is trial number three <laughs> Okay. Oh, this sweater is so heckin' heavy. So heckin' heavy. Let's knit across these. And then hopefully the next row is a little easier to deal with. We can do it. We can do it. I feel like we can do it. We can manage. We can do it. Okay. We have ourselves. From the right side. Knit three. Well, this is what I don't get about this sweater. Because it says from the right side. Okay, this is the right side. So am I going to have to put all of my stitches um, from this needle that it's going to be on to the next? I guess it's assuming you're using a... Uh, you're using circular needles and this is easy, but I'm not using circular needles, so... Not so easy. <laughs> I had to integrate my wink into the my speech there. Integrate. So, I guess now we are going to move all of our stitches from this needle to this needle. Because our life just can't be that easy. I guess I should have uh, thought about it, but I cannot steal my size six needles from the chaos sweater. I just am not willing to do that. Because the chaos sweater is on some needles that like the circulars it's on are just the right size for it. Like if I take, uh, the needles off, I will be dropping stitches. They're the right exact size. Exact size. Today, we just need to breathe. Need to breathe. We just need to breathe. We can do this. We can do it today. I believe in us. I believe in us, we only have one tiny little com uh, column of directions. They just happen to be the hardest directions to follow is all. But I believe in us. I believe in us. Maybe after next battle we will do Discord show and tell. How does that sound? Take away some of our frustrations by showing off everybody's work. That sounds pretty good to me. Pretty good to me. At least we have all the stitches um, where they should be this time. Sounds good to you. Maybe then you'll have something you can show off. Yes, yes. I love to see what you're up to and what you're making every single time. Is so heckin' talented. Ah, my news. My news. My nose is itchy. Haven't done anything since you've been too tired lately. Uh, also working on a wicked puzzle. Ah. Oh. I do too like to see. Even if I haven't made a lot of progress with my off-stream things, I, uh, I like to see what everybody else is making. Because it gives me hope, and also makes me happy, and also gives me inspiration to try out some other things. And some days we need that. 
that inspiration and that like subtle encouragement like ooh somebody is doing something and I kind of want to learn how to do it oh some days we need that to keep us going on our crafts because you all are very inspiring very inspiring I was saying earlier, like, oh, it's just some mornings, like, y'all are the reason why I get out of bed. And get going. Because I know that you guys will help me get, get going. You guys will help me get going. Good thing I have two heckin' working yarns. <laughs> Solarial, hello, hello, good morning. How's it going? Your therapist may not be too happy with you on Friday. Oh no. That one. That one is for you, Boo. That one's for you. <laughs> Many, thank you. I love this shirt. I love this shirt. <laughs> Just got home from work. You're feeling a little better. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. If there was might not be too happy with you on Friday. You set some personal some productivity goals and you haven't done much. Happens. But with the same time change and the personal stuff going on, your butt's being kicked. Understandable. You joined at quite the moment. You did. You did join at that moment. The moment that the seductive stitching happened. Are you thoroughly seduced by my stitching? I only got three stitches done, but, you know. Doesn't mean you can't be seduced. <laughs> Almost a daily ritual at this point. <laughs> True. True. Bind off two stitches. Okay, I shall bind off two stitches. Uh, so we do one. And we do two. We bind off one. By taking this stitch. You're gonna go pop it over the stitch next to it. Ooh, better get all of the fibers. And it's about quality, not quantity. Exactly. Then we pop off the next stitch. There we go. We have ourselves a buttonhole. Look at that butthole. <laughs> 
Okay, once we have the buttonhole, we knit to the end. Very beautiful. So that's when things start to get a little easier, I guess. Once we get the butthole in. Well, we have one more line of butthole to go. <laughs> We're back to making buttholes again. My goodness. It's been a while. You see, the last time we made buttholes was like two months ago, it seems like. So, I'm here for it. That's all I'm saying. I could honestly eat it for every meal. Or just eat it all the time without even stopping. <laughs> Monstradamus, no, lovely fat? name. So We're happy to have you. Fat? Welcome in. First words you hear once you get, once you get the butthole in. Well, welcome in. We're talking about buttonholes. So, uh, no, you're hearing it correctly. I call my buttonholes buttholes. It's a joke that started when, like, a couple months ago, when we uh, were working in the first buttonholes on the front right side of this cardigan, which was the second piece of this cardigan we, we completed. Uh, we started calling them buttholes. Because <laughs> we're children. We have the mentality of, of children whom can't can't help but make uh, the ha ha funny body part jokes. So yeah, welcome in th to the to the butthole making. Yeah. You actually have whole correctors for when you're putting freight on on pegs. The box is literally labeled sticky butt holes. <laughs> you still very much like the 420 and 69 jokes. Yeah, we, we had a big party when I got to... I actually watched um, the that stream the other day. Um... So, if y'all don't know, if you haven't been here long enough to know this, uh, the day I got to 420 uh, followers was on Valentine's Day, and there was a person who was uh, playing jokes on uh, people who were streaming on Twitch, and um, the joke that they were playing was they were going into people's stream and following them with a uh, funny funny username and uh a lot of people were not understanding the joke or they just weren't saying the person's name or whatnot when they followed but as i do as i do when someone follows my channel i say their name and i say whether or not i like their username or i say welcome in and their username was <laughs> was so i so they they followed and i said oh it's Bukaki, <laughs> And uh, I was so, apparently so cool about their username that they sent a bunch of people in to follow me and get me to 420. And uh, we met a lot of new friends that day. So, uh, I didn't realize until relatively recently that they, although I think they told me, I didn't register with me until relatively recently, that I could go find them on YouTube and watch the video of them, <laughs> the other side of the thing, and what they said uh, when I was streaming on their end of things. It was kind of funny. It was kind of funny. It's weird to also see how people react to me as a person. I guess. What's cozy? Our buttholes, Jar Jar? Our, our buttholes are cozy? <laughs> Fourth grade teacher here can confirm this is elementary level humor. <laughs> Work for a sprinkler company and there's a part in sprinklers called nipples and you giggle every time. 
Wait, you've got bre you've got new ball python babies. Oh, when did this happen, Marm Clean? When did this happen? And can you share pictures in the Discord? We require baby python tags. We require a tax of pictures of baby pythons. A coworker who used to work in the bakery and she'd asked one of the new managers if he wanted to play with their nipples, referring to the decorating tips. <laughs> My goodness. I think most people have this sort of mentality of uh, humor. We all resort to being fourth graders every once in a while. And that is 100% okay with me. I mean, I'm I'm a person who sits here and talks about my balls all day, so. You know, I understand. Last night the mom was, oh, dad was a banana cinnamon. These are color morphs. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I would love to see, I would love to see them. I would love to see them. All right. We are heckin' getting there. Although this stitch ended up in a really weird spot. So. Hmm. My question is, should I pick up, um, I should drop this. And you started the Mando series today, dropping them balls, always dropping these balls. So what I'm going to do might not make sense, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pick up this stitch here and move it a little more central so that we don't have a weird gap. Um, we might still have a little bit of a weird gap. I, I do know this, but that should be the end of that row. There we go. So it might look a little, yeah, a little neater. There we are. Always dropping balls around here. Why would we not drop our balls? Why would we not talk about our balls all of the time? All of the time we talk about and drop balls. My foot is falling asleep. I'm not even sitting on it. But it is 100% heckin' falling asleep. So... After this row, I will show you how heckin' far we've gone, which is one, two heckin' rows. Oh, uh, you're posture checking me? The only thing that I'm doing is crossing my legs. But I will, for you, I shall. I shall fix, fix the crossing of my legs. If you should go to quick care. Oh. There's still pain, but there's significantly less pain. Yeah. That is that is a thing. It is all one piece. Here we have ourselves front panel. Sleeve. Back. And then we have sleeve, opposite front panel. So it's all one piece. It just needs um, the neckline finished and the uh, underarm side seams sewn. So theoretically, if we finish the neckline today, it'll be it'll be pretty much done. I can do all the hand sewing off stream. But I'm excited. Okay, so next row we purl. Pearl row, knit row, pearl row. Ooh, 
Yes, purl next row, casting on two stitches over the bound off stitches. Just in case it gets, yeah, I was, you should make sure that it is 100% um, fine. Um, let me return, I need a glass of water, I shall return. I forgot last break, I'm gonna be back with water. I've returned with actual hydration. Hydration at this. Um, what? Uh, may I ask, Jay Z? What? What? What am I guessing? What am I guessing? We have five, six minutes until Discord show and tell. So if you have anything you want to show off, please get that in the Discord before show and tell. DDS adds another level of complexity to top surgery. Ooh, what is this? What is this? You've been fully discharged from the gender service? You... Why is this? Why is this? Why is this?
One more. Your weight was already an issue in terms of healing. Turns out EDS adds another, another level of difficulty to the healing. So combined with... Uh, until you're thin and have your pain fully under control. Um, why is that the problem, though? They're just unwilling to do it because of your pain level? I am so sorry that they're... They are, have made that decision. Because, um, not the sorry part. I just, I guess I just don't understand what the, the reasoning behind that is. The whole, we can't do it because of your pain. Like, I get surgery at, um, most, they won't do surgery on, on anyone who seems to be, you know, a certain weight or whatnot because of the issues, complications you can have during surgery, but have to lose a third of your weight, also get your pain under control, whatever that means. Yeah, this, this just doesn't make, make sense to me. The whole pain thing. They're just unwilling to do the surgery because you have pain. You know, I get surgery will probably add pain for a certain amount of time. But I don't feel like that's a real valid reason at all. It's not a valid reason. To deny somebody a surgery. Because they're already in pain. Like, well, you're adding pain onto that. It might not be the physical pain, but... All the same, it is pain. I don't understand... Uh, Decision-making of some people and... Stuff like that. Geeky Nerd Demon. I like your name. I like your name. I just don't understand where they where they come up with like these sorts of decisions. Like logically. Are they just looking for reasons to deny people services? Because that's what it heckin' seems like to me. That's what it heckin' seems like to me. Geeky Nerd Demon. Hello. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Love your hair color. Thank you. I actually need to re-dye it. It's a little more green than it usually is. Um, but welcome in. Exactly. You just wanted to be happy. You just wanted to be able to be yourself. But if you are part of a pain management regimen, they probably want to get properly regulated before adding to it. Oh, Taco, hello, hello. Give me a minute, you all. I need to do something real quick. Hello, Taco. Hello, Taco. Welcome in. Yeah, I can I can see that if you're part of a pain re pain management regimen, them being like, well, we don't want to put you in more pain before it's better. But the fact that they completely deny you 
is definitely what the problem is here. Why do they completely deny you? You've been denying the surgery for years, but now they have another reason to deny you. Ugh. Fully discharged. Yeah, from the service. A service which is between four to six years wait to get an appointment. Yeah, that... That's the that's the thing right there. Okay, we do this we do the stream writers battle, then we hop into Discord show and tell. Thank you, Sketch, for bringing up the link. If you do want to share anything you're doing in the Discord, please go to that link and share what you want to share, and we will show it up on stream here in a moment. Oh yeah. Can we win this battle this time? is the question. Or will we lose once more? Miradonna, good morning, happy Wednesday. You made a new sticker, also finished your patch. Congratulations, Sav, congratulations. Congratulations. My hacking goodness. Will we do it? I think we've finally done it. We've finally done it. Finally done it. Space Monkey, a tall Canadian. Congratulations on those item rewards. And we move on to our next battle, which is another hard one, which... Makes me a little sad. Pantapuff, hello, good morning. Good morning. How's your day going? Um, I'm gonna do my wire right there. And we vibe as per usual. We vibe as per usual. And then let me pull up the Discord and we shall Look at what we have in the Discord. What do you guys have for me today? I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. We do the boops. I know we have one in Pets and Animals because I looked at it yesterday. So we're going to start there. We're going to start... We're going to start in the lovely, lovely pets and animals. Ah, uh, where is, where is our screen capture? Here we go. Resize this so you can see this cutie. Because I love myself a goat. I don't know about you, but I love myself a goat. I love myself a goat. <gasps> Azul! Good morning! I've actually frogged several times already this morning, but I appreciate <laughs> your sentiment. Oh, I'm busy starting to make lunch now. Oh, I'm so jealous. I had a tiny little tiny piece of cheesecake for breakfast. A goat, yes. Look at this goat. Look at this goat. This is Moon. So Nara and Demongo knew that one of their goats was going to have a baby soon and while they were away while they were away at a medieval reenactment they got themselves a new a brand new baby goat named moon so earlier this year they had that one of their other um adult goats had a baby and it is named star so now they have star and moon Heckin' cute! Heckin' cute! So let's do the... for Nara. So cute! Yeah! Yeah, now they need another one named Snow, but since I think they only have two female adult goats, uh, and, well, they did have two, but, um... Bella, Star's mom, had to be rehomed because uh, Bella kept trying to attack 
uh, trying to attack their uh, puppy. They they got a livestock dog for uh, a protection of the livestock, as you do. And uh, Bella kept attacking the puppy uh, to the point where Bella actually attacked Nara and almost, I think, probably almost broke Nara's ribs. So um, they had a friend who has goats but doesn't have dogs and uh, they ended up taking Bella to their friend's farm to, to live with uh, a not-dog experience because Bella apparently does not like dogs. So, sun, moon, and star, and then you can play the song. <laughs> you know, this is true. This is true. This is true. So, yeah. So, now, now there's moon. And I love, I love, because, um, let me see if I can find a picture of star. So, you see moon is all dark dark colored with the uh white uh way way up let me see if i can find you a picture of star so one is dark colored and then star is if i can find a picture of star cuz we have a lot of animal shares star is light colored so this is star um star is much bigger than this now but this was star when they were were fairly new fairly fresh them ears yeah the ears i don't yeah i know right i know I know they're so heckin' cute. I love I love baby goats. I love myself some baby goats. Then we'll pop down to the um oh crafts crafts channel illegal part of the centerpieces partner friends that you welded oh and and you welded. We wanted to, it to be vaguely gamer, so it's a d20 shape. Oh, we did much smaller thing during the pandemic, but one was for the post-pandemic event, so we could make more of our family friends properly tell them. Oh, that's cool. Illegal. That's amazing. That is heckin' cool looking. My goodness, that is amazing. Oh, wow. I love how that turned out. Man. And with the flower, oh, I love that. I love that. I love that. Ah. Did a much smaller thing during the pandemic, but this one was for the post pandemic event. Ah, uh, what a time to uh to have things. Drag myself out of bed at a decent time this evening to work uh on the test dress so you'll have it for the next time to show off. I can't wait to see it. <gasps> hobo I don't know if you're here, but hobo. Oh look at this mushy. Look at this mushy. That's a cute heckin' mushy. Cute heckin' mush. My goodness. Shrooms. Yes, we love ourselves some good shrooms around here. We love a good shroom. Let me put this on the second picture of it on. <laughs> Look at that shroom. That's a thick shroom. Now where's the badger and the sneak? Uh, Detect makes a lot of sneaks. So if you really wanted a sneak, we'd have to ask Detect. Detect for a sneak. So squish. Very squish. I love. Ah! <gasps> Daisy. Daisy. Ah! Oh. 
I was waiting to see what this was going. I'm sure sure you guys shared pictures of what it was meant to be, but I I don't didn't remember, so I was excited to see what it was going to be. It's burrs. Look at these burrs. Look at these bears. Look at these heckin' bears. Bears and hats. We love a good bear in a, in a good hat. We love a good bear in a good hat. Who does not love a bear in a hat? On a hat. Hatception. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And it looks so good. It looks so good. I love it. And I love how textured, like, different flecks of color are in, in that yarn. I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't say I love it enough. The bears! We love a good bear. Ooh! Made a vector image of the Doomslayer helmet. Unplug me. Unplug me. Let me get this in frame so we can see the whole heckin' thing and appreciate it. Whole heckin' thing and appreciate it. That is amazing. I'm gonna try craft stream tomorrow, but I don't know if you can mentally or physically after today. Ah, uh, that is understandable. I called because this is amazing. You're making biscuits from scratch. So jealous. So jealous, Weeple Wobble. I'm jealous. I'm jealous. Because I'm kind of hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> but this is amazing. I love it. I love this. I love this. Very nicely done. Tiny bouncy kitty flu. Oh. It's so tiny. I'm gonna have to make this gigantic. Oh my goodness. It's so tiny. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's cute. It's so cute. I can cute. I can cute. Very, very cute. Ah, And... Ah, unplug me. I really like this. That is very cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness. My goodness. I just want to watch this, like, all day. Like, seriously, I would stare at this for hours. I'm the sort of person who would stare at this for hours, too. It's a very cute fishy. I love it. I love this a heckin' heckin' lot. My goodness. Very cool. Very cool. Let me resize that down a little bit. A little bit. I would, I'm not lying. Yeah, yeah, it happened with got, goth dancing gifts one time. I just got completely distracted and didn't stare at anything else for the rest of forever. <laughs> it's so hypnotizing, though. Don't blame me. It's hypnotizing. Them's, them's hips, they do not lie. They hypnotize. LOL, I love this. I love this. The precision with that pour, because I'm assuming that the black was a different pour than the white. The precision. The precision on this pour. Heckin' fantastic. So neat. Neat. Very neat. Not as in cool, but it is cool, but neat as in. It's very, very nicely done. Ah! It... You're telling me that this is... This is a container. This is a storage container. 
This is a storage container. I absolutely love that. You could put your treats in it. You could put treats in it for your dogs. I love it. I love that. I love that so much. I love that so much. My heckin' goodness. I love that so heckin' much. You do not even know. And. And. You tried to do marbling. Well, I like it. I like the look of it. I like the look of it. Another mushroom. Look at this cute mushroom. Did you do the, did you paint the, the spots? Were the spots painting? I love it. I love the look that it gives off. I think it makes it look like a little more whimsical even, I would say. Like a little bit more whimsical. I like it. Ah. Oh. You eat. Are you eating the mushrooms? Or are you eating food in real life? New sticker design. Cute. Cute. Yeah, very cute. Very cute. Very cute. Very cute. You eat the shroom. You're awake. You're awake, John. Welcome back. Welcome back, John. It's slightly later on Wednesday. <laughs> I hope your nap was a good one. I hope your nap was a good one. Sign in. Good morning. Good morning. Around 5.5k stitches. My heckin' goodness, many. My heckin'. I thought you heard something about buttholes. You did hear something about buttholes. How's the sweater? I will, I will show it to you in a second. I'm just finishing up uh, the neckline today. Minnie is looking so heckin' good. This, this makes me want to do cross stitch. It makes me want to, but I do not have the space or the time for another hobby. But this is amazing. Amazing. I heckin' love this. Heckin' love it. I heckin' love it a heckin' whole lot. It is beautiful. Beautiful. And it's coming along. Actually, quicker than I expected. You're a whiz. 5.5k stitches so far. My Goodness, that is so many stitches. So many stitches. Sign it. It is all in one piece. It is all in one piece. We have a front piece. We have ourselves an arm. We have ourselves a back. We have ourselves another arm. And we have ourselves another front. So all I am doing today is... Um, stitching the neckline together, which has been a pain in the butthole, if you know what I mean. Thank you. Thank you. So all I have left to do is the neckline here. I have to stitch together the underarm slash side seams and add buttons. And then it'll be done. So I'm hoping that today I can finish all of this so that I can wear this tomorrow. I want to be able to wear it back in bed feeling sluggish today. Well, you feel better, Steph. You feel better. I hope you feel better. But I do understand. Your head hurts so crying, so you're gonna go, oh no. Well, you feel better too, Jay-Z. 
If you do need to talk, you know where to find me. I'm not done with the show and tell. I was just showing, uh, showing off the sweater. That I'm working on. I'm so close to finishing it. I am excited. Your secret project is coming along, but it's cursed. <laughs> I've had five, five sections so far. Oh no. Oh no. Shroom, another technically failed. It's lash cured, so you have to wait for your deep mold resin for that one. Oh no. There's two now. Oh no. The fat shroom and the crystal that you've got to wait to do, to redo. Sorry for the delay. Nurse came in. Oh no. Picked your ripple, picked your ripple crop top up again last night, but it's in a position where you can't share the progress. The orange one. Oh, well, once, once you do get to a point where you can share it, I would love to see it. I would love to see it. Oh, I've got to allow the fact that you can blow. John, you're allowed to bl be blown away. I, I allow it. <laughs> I allow you being blown away. <gasps> and another patch! Another patch from the... The Saf. Saf. Uh, this one is looking good, too. I love how dense your stitches are. I love how dense they are. Because it really does fit with your work. You can say butthole? No, I allowed butthole. I had to- uh, I had to allow butthole on Automod. So now you can say butthole. I- I- I allowed it earlier. It- it was added to a term that won't get caught. Ooh, good question. No, I think it's, uh, like, wire cutters. Cutting the chain. Many. That's what I take it to be as. Automod always amuses you. <laughs> but, Seth, if it's something different other than a uh, chain being cut. Yeah, Automod attacked in Solarial for saying butthole, and I allowed it. But it, every instance where it's said in a different way is going to catch it. So if you say butthole without just normal butthole, <laughs> it won't catch. It should not catch it anymore. But if you put quotes around it, it's different. Oh, you read it as IR. Oh, yeah, it does kind of look like that. But I think it's a chain. I think it's a chain being broken. It's what it looks like to my eyes anyways. It's a chain being broken with like some wire cutters or chain cutters. Buttholes? Well, see, you added the question mark behind it. So then it has to pick it up, because then it picks up the term buttholes question mark. <laughs> you can't question- well, now you can question your butthole. It's a chain in bolt cutters. Yes, Asher, good morning, Asher. I hope your day is going well. We're just doing a little Discord show and tell. A little Discord show and tell. Ah, Taco! Welcome into the Discord. And did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? On that fun note, you're off to bed. You have yourself a great sleep. You have yourself a great sleep. Oh, you all. I forgot. To cast on over the butthole. Speaking of buttholes, we were talking about buttholes and I got distracted by buttholes so I didn't make the butthole. I did not make the butthole. Shall I make a butthole now? Yes, I shall. So now I have to cast on two stitches. Two stitches. There we are. And... Ah! Buttholes are distracting. Very distracting. Buttholes are always distracting. I will allow buttholes. 
I'm allowing buttholes. <laughs> Stop picking up buttholes. Automod. We like buttholes. What led you to believe we did not like buttholes? There we are. Another butthole. Another butthole in the works. Well, it's not in the works. Completed. It's a completed butthole. Our butthole's completed. That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different... Completing a butthole. <laughs> Look at my butthole. <laughs> Things you should not proudly proclaim on the stream. You average six stitches per minute. Congratulations. As a relaxed pace. Nine if you rush. Nicely done. Full stream, complete with buttholes. Yes, but no. <laughs> Thank you everyone who shared in the Discord. I appreciate you an awful heck of a lot. And welcome in to Taco Tickler. Welcome in to the Discord. I appreciate you. 1% typical operational speed for a sewing machine. Nice. I didn't just touch the butthole, Casey. I fingered the butthole. Completely different thing. <laughs> things I, other things I should not say on stream. <laughs> other things I should not say on stream. Add that to the list. Add that to the list. <laughs> okay, I think this next one is uh um pearl next row casting on two stitches over the bound off stitches uh knit one. Kells touch the butthole. Stitching is dense. You average 30 stitches per inch, which is more than the 12 SPI most sewing machines can manage. Nice. I like the look of it, though. And it really fits with your the rest of the look that you're going for. on on Because this is on the skirt, correct? Still on the skirt? Definitely goes for the look. Definitely goes for it. I like it. On the skirt, yay! As long as she, he is okay with the finger in the bow hole. Who, who knows? They might like it a lot. Yeah, you never know until you try it. You never know. They might appreciate it. No means no. Yes, consent is key, guys. That is why my, uh, why my hug command has consent built into it. Because consent is key. All right. We are making some progress. We are almost heckin', heckin' done. Ah, that is heckin'. This, this needs to be tightened up. You see? This needs to be uh, sewn in before we end up with a hole in our sweater. We do not want a hole in the sweater. Except for the times when yes, no means yes. And that's when you have prior consent for the no means yes. Don't just assume the no means yes. Never assume the no means yes, yes unless you have prior consent for the no to mean yes. But yes, I am done making a butthole. I have made myself a butthole. I have shown you all my butthole. I have stuck my finger into the butthole. Exactly. Exactly. Prior consent. Delightful. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I will appreciate it when you go to the doctor to get things checked out. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Did you appreciate my butthole? Has my butthole been fully appreciated? Oh, we need a butthole count. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, as well. Of course, as well. I'm on the computer now. I'm on the computer. Thank you for appreciating my butthole. The new people in the stream are probably like, what the heck are these people even talking about? This. A buttonhole. Of course. Of course. I wasn't trying to say buttonhole. I've called it butthole this whole time. <laughs> You've actually seen it. It's right here. It's right there. And now I'm knitting. And then the next row is a pearl row. And then a knit row and a pearl row. And then we do the pie cut. The pie cot. However one does a pie cot. I have not. I have not done that before. I heard that twice. That alert went off twice. Let's go on over to Stream Raiders. Do a battle. Ooh, yeah, cinnamon toast sounds good. You don't... You think you have cinnamon? You have sugar? But uh, you might not have bread or butter. Oof. Oof. I have bread. I think I have butter. I think I have cinnamon. Now I want cinnamon toast. Yeah, John, if only you were a little closer to Australia. Well then, that escalated quickly. We just went into that battle and we were like... And then they died. Blayen, Lobatross, and Fakwati with the item rewards. Congratulations. Gun! GG, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? I hope your day's going well. That was fast, very fast. We whooped booty, is what we did. We whooped their booty. We spanked it. We spacked it. Good! I am good. I am good as well. Um, I am just doing the finishing touches on a sweater. I am on the last few rows of the neckline. And then all I have to do on this is stitch together the side seams. Um, so we're getting there. Whooped their butthole. <laughs> I'm surprised too. You know, I do say buttholes a lot. I do say buttholes a lot. But that's because we're making buttholes right now. You and this, I know, I know. Really cool last night. There's an extinct species of sea life from 500 million years ago called Cinderella. Well, I'm sure they did that on purpose. They named it that for a reason, uh, I'm sure. Yeah, me and the sweater. But I'm almost done with it, so perhaps tomorrow, the only thing wrong with the sweater is it'll be on my body. Thinking it was Thursday, oh no, somebody else thought it was uh, Tuesday today, so. I'm sure someone feels you. But except uh, yours is more disappointing. Ha <laughs> ha.
Me and this sweater. Well, it is almost done, so I am excited. I was going to finish it yesterday, but uh, I was feeling a little... Uh, I was having a weird day yesterday. I was having a weird feeling that I didn't particularly enjoy. I was feeling a little, I don't know, down. But... I'm I'm excited. I was feeling down, so instead of working on my sweater like I should have been, I went, checked my P.O. box, found that I had earrings in them, uh, then I went to the craft store. <laughs> You're watching an intro to paleontology course. Uh, interesting. That's how Cinderella came up. Nice! Craft store makes you happy too. Well, in order to start the socks that I'm going to be starting next after I finish this sweater, I needed to ball some yarn. So I went to the yarn store, the, the craft store, to pick up a uh, ball winder and a swift. So I have a ball winder and a swift now. You went to the woodworking store yesterday. Ooh, what are you going to be making? What are you going to be making? I need to know. You want a local woodworking store? There aren't any near you. Oh no. Oh no. You don't like that. You went looking for a pencil kit. Ooh, they have pencil kits just available? That's pretty awesome. Here for that. You're still on your pencil pen journey. Well, you know, they they are very good looking pens and pencils, so. I like it. Oh, I was about to say pencil person. Uh, Azul. Azul, somebody else you should be following. Gun girl. Slime line. <laughs> I looked up, read that, and saw my water, and I decided I need a drink. Oh, you're already following. Nice. 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 Yeah, I was excited to go out and see. I didn't think there was anything in my P.O. box. I was mostly checking because I ordered some yarn from Hobby, and I have not got any shipping information on it. But I checked, and I had these lovely earrings in my P.O. box. I could honestly eat it for every meal. Casey Neal. Or just eat it all the time without even stopping. Casey Neal. I'd say welcome <laughs> in. Fat. But no, you've I been here fat. for a while, Fred makes so fat. thank you for the follow. Fred makes you fat? From where? These are Wicked Walnut earrings that I won in a giveaway on uh, Boyd's stream. The first time I ever went into Boyd's stream, I won a giveaway that I wasn't even going to enter. Yeah. Uh, give me a second. I shall return momentarily.
it was not somebody at my door. <sighs> Just a mysterious knocking noise, probably of Azul, hiding my measuring tape. Yeah, I think these are walnut. The jump rings. Um, these jump rings? I think, I don't know, they're gold colored. They are gold colored. Do the pencil for once in Slimline, but you've been looking at a lot of pencil kits. Nice. So, yeah, probably stainless steel. I'd have to ask. New Jersey, nothing good word working up. <laughs> Is there anything good in New Jersey? Other than you, John. Is there anything else? <laughs> okay, that was one row of knit. Knit one. Okay, where's butthole? Butthole. One. Okay, so we've done one row of knit. So we are on one row of knit. We're on a pearl row. So we have three rows left before we get new directions. Your kiddos! Yeah! <laughs> I was just joking. I was just joking. I've been to New Jersey. The most notable thing from my trip uh, through New Jersey was the fact that we had the biggest of laughs the whole time. We were following behind a car somewhere in New Jersey. And uh, while we were driving behind this car, the kid in the back seat kept tossing things out. Uh, tossing things out of the car window and the child's mother did not realize at least that's I'm, who I'm assuming was driving the car uh, did not realize that the kid was tossing things out of the window and at the rate that this kid was throwing things out the window there was probably nothing except for the kid and their car seat left in the back seat by the time they were they got to where uh there where they were going <laughs> like shoes, uh, clothing items, like everything, diapers, like unused diapers. That kid was like emptying its diaper bag and throwing throwing the stuff out the window. It made me laugh so heckin' hard. <gasps> Deadly Mouse, good morning, good morning. How's it going today? You lurk. Well, you have a good lurk. You have yourself a good lurk. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Well, uh, Saf, you have yourself a, a good night. You have yourself a good night. Sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. Sleep well. Sleep well. So we do a pearl row, we do one more knit row, one more pearl, and then we get new directions. So we're almost there. And then those are like the last directions that we get. Working with you as background noise. I appreciate being your background noise. I, I thoroughly enjoy being people's background noise. Bah. New Jersey fight is going to happen. Do not fight about New Jersey. It's not worth it. <laughs> Did you just call me balls? 
<laughs> I'm joking. I like to give people a hard time about Ohio, too. It's okay. I'd give people a hard time about Florida, too. To be fair. There's a lot of states I give people a hard time about. <laughs> makes me laugh, is all. It makes me laugh, is all. A Florida's <laughs> Go south until you smell it. East until you step in it. Yeah. 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 Although there are some good things in Ohio. Like Rainbow. And, uh, Queen. All good things in Ohio. Greg, also in Ohio. You know. Uh... I know, Mongo, good morning. I We've seen pictures. We've seen pictures. Nara posted a picture of Moon in the Discord, and we appreciated it. As in, we stared at it for a very long time and said how cute Moon is. But you have a good work, Lurk. You have yourself a good work, Lurk work, and we expect more pictures of Moon in the coming days. We expect more photos. Hard time about USA and general team Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me a hard time about being from Michigan. You're allowed. You're allowed. I won't complain. Oh, don't fight. Don't fight. We can't have a fight. We can't have a fight. We gotta be friends. We've gotta be friends. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Even though one of us likes North Jersey and one of us likes South Jersey. That's how you make friends in Jersey? Okay, okay. You fight with each other. I see how it is. I, you know, I'm not aware of your customs. Uh, New Jersey is like a whole different word, world. No! Teaching in the middle of Tennessee Fiber Festival. So you will take a pic. But it will be this weekend before more pic shows up. That is okay. That is 100% okay. Tell Anara that we love her and that we miss her and that I hope that she has a fun time. By being as mean as possible. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yes, yes, you do have to get to work. Okay, get to work. You do it. You get to work. You do the works. You do the works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the bathroom again, so I shall return.
Y'all still fighting? Y'all still fighting? My goodness. My goodness. All right. You're going to get a t-shirt? Uh, <laughs> people are going to think a lot about you if you get a t-shirt, though. They're going to think a lot of things about you, is all. They're going to think a lot of things. T-shirts, you say? Okay, we do a pearl row. Now we have one knit row, one pearl row, and then we get to the edge of this lovely thing. You're looking for t-shirts. I know a guy. I know a guy. Okay, but whole. Did I hear Taylor pork roll? <laughs> now we're bringing Taco into this. Now we're bringing Taco into this. Why not think you're great? Exactly. Okay, it makes sense. Okay. My goodness. Yeah, spend your money somewhere that, that you want that you you should definitely spend your money. Not not on t shirts that say birds don't exist. Because then you're supporting the people who don't think birds exist, and that's weird. <gasps> You'll have more designs coming soon. Nice, nice. What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Is this actually a thing? Yes, it's a group of people who believe that birds don't exist. No. <laughs> Altier, hello, hello. Hello. How's your day going? Oz, hello, good morning, Oz. How is your day going? Bird government is drone. <laughs> the earth is flat too. Yeah. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna say that. None of these things are true. Okay. None of these things are true. Pretty good so far. Cause you just got up. Nice. Nice. Mine is going swell. Like a fried pancake. I want pancakes. You can't talk about food. You can't talk about food around me. Because you're going to make me hungry. And when I get hungry, I have to leave. So. <laughs> no. No. I don't care who said what. See, you were about to buy a tie-dye Grateful Dead shirt, but now you have to buy a taco shirt. You know, this is this is a valid change. A valid change. But, I don't know. Oh, we're not going there. No butts. Only buttholes. No butts.
for its work for the bourgeoisie. <laughs> Only buttholes. <laughs> Y'all, why have we jumped into conspiracies? And now we're a cult. One Look what us. you've done. One of us. One of it's all John's fault. Yeah, John. One we're gonna blame us. you. One of us. And North One Jersey. Look. Now we're in a cult. Look what you've done. Now we're in a cult. Mm -hmm. I want to look up some more alerts for our uh, for our cult page because does this mean you're going to do a cult of the lamb stream? Maybe someday. It's been suggested because, uh, you know, it would fit with what we've got going on here with, you know, the sheep and the cult. So, you know, I've been told it would fit. Awesome. We've got a neckline coming in. Yes, there's a hole right here. I did not stitch up the whole seam line yet. Ah, uh, that looks that I shouldn't have done that. Uh, I don't know how to answer that question, Runa. Do we want bird screams or no bird screams? Would that add to the the Twitch affiliate integration? Is amazing. I I've seen it. It is. I agree. I would love to play it next to game night, maybe. That would be fun. <laughs> You'll at some point- Okay, we were talking about this earlier because we need to have the uh, timing a little better. So I might have everyone do it. Asus! Asus. Asus. <laughs> Instead of Asus? Asus. Okay, Asus. Thank you for telling me. Today is going to be... Uh, is going well. Ooh, more setting in the office looking good. Ooh, a hobo. Good morning. We're in a cult. We have to get the timing of the chance right, though. So we have to do, like, a four count. So, one of us. One of us. One of us. You gotta get the the chanting at the right, the right tempo. Gotta be a four count, like everything is one of us, one of us. You do not work in the guitar industry. You work in IT. Uh. Now I'm in a hot tub. Now I'm in a hot tub. <laughs> now I'm in a hot tub. We're not in a cult. We're in a hot tub. <laughs> we are most definitely not in a cult. We are most definitely in a hot tub. There's a difference between these two things. <laughs> one of them is <laughs> in a hot tub and one of them is not in a hot tub. And right now we're in a hot tub. God, you're breaking, you're breaking. The splash, I was taking a bath. 
So at some point, it was suggested that I get a drop game to drop d rubber ducks in the hot tub. Well, we'll have to see about that. Because that could be fun. You've been broken for a long time. Oh, no. Maybe it's a hot tub cult. Praise be the lobster gods. We boil ourselves in your name. <laughs> Is this our cult sign? <laughs> All right, we do the nits. Well, we do the pearls, to be more specific. Lobster claws while buying. Just to confuse people. Just to confuse people. It's a lot of water coming out of that tub. <laughs> I know. I'm losing water like no other. <gasps> Girl Gamer J, hello, how are you doing today? How are you doing? Well, I mean, I have a lot of followers, so theoretically, I will never run out of water because all of you will fill all the buckets and put water in my hot tub. Theoretically. You're good. I am good as well. I'm good as well. We're just knitting on a cardigan that is just about finished. It doesn't have much left to do, and I am here for it. I'm very excited. Two stream raiders battle. Um, we shall curse the heck out of these guys, and we shall begin. But today I'm working on a sweater. I'm knitting it. We have only a couple a couple lines left. A victory. Zephyrus. Sakishi, Happy Kittens, and Cinderbore with the item rewards. Congratulations. Congratulations. I was about to say, Moo, I've been talking to Gigi this whole time. Oh, it's hard for you. It, it, it can be hard, but it is worth it in the end. But we're happy you chose us to hang out with. We will do one more Stream Raiders battle. With any luck, it will be successful. And with any luck, by the end of this half hour, we will have ourselves a heckin cardigan. Heckin cardigan. You listen to about four at the time at a time. Well, you're talented. You're talented, Moo. I can only do like I can only actually listen to two at a time before it all gets really muddled. Should you read this very long story about birds not existing? No, because then you will become one of them. Yes, I did. I said hi, Mo. <laughs> Y'all gonna fight about who said hi to who? Are we getting into a fight again? Are we getting into fights again today? You're in a fighty mood. I, I did notice. Maybe just a little bit, Gun. Maybe just a little bit. But let me finish this line and I will show you all where we are at. Because this is the last line before we start the very edge. The very edge of the neckline. I'm very excited. Who is excited? Can we get some hype?
I'm excited. Okay. Give me one moment. I shall return. Don't cause trouble. No fights. Y'all stop fighting yet? Or do I need to leave again? <laughs> but this is the sweater that we're working on. You can see that there are certain seams that are not yet finished. Um, this is a front seat. This is a front piece. This is a sleeve. This is the back. This is a sleeve. And this is the opposite front piece. So. We are almost done. I have... Thank you! I've been working on it for quite some time. Knitting does take a lot longer than some other fiber arts, but it is worth it. It is worth it. I'm very excited to finish this and get to wear it because it's been a work in progress for quite some time. I hope it fits. I appreciate a good, appreciate a good cardigan. But this cardigan was made from a pattern, from a catalog, a Sears catalog for uh, Afghan and sweater knitting and crocheting from the 1970s. It's a physical magazine that I found in a box in my grandmother's garage. <laughs> Genuine vintage pattern. <laughs> we get to go back into a very, uh, very, uh, interesting new line after this. We have directions that I am interested to see how it turns out. Does that make it oh, <laughs> new old stock? I guess, kind of. Kind of, kind of. Is the turnpike speed limit really 100 miles an hour? I didn't know that. Is it? Or are you lying to me? No wonder why people were mad at us for going a normal speed limit. <laughs> But here we are! Our next row is going to be uh, somewhat complex. The fastest posted speed limit in the US is only 85 miles an hour. And see, I thought we were bad. See, I thought we were bad here because 75 is 
uh, is a high speed limit here. People go 100 in 75, but uh, the posted speed limit is 75. Cops can't catch you all. <sighs> all right. We have ourselves <sighs> that part finished. So I'm worried. This pie cut. Yeah, I don't like going going that fast. It scares me. So this next row, our directions here. Knit one, yarn over. I've never done yarn overs in knitting, by the way. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Does it mean the same thing in knitting as it does? Uh, in crochet. I sure as heck hope so. Um, yarn over. You just yarn, do you literally just yarn over? Oh, <gasps> Snacky! Hello! Hello! Ahoy! How's your day going? It sounds like it. Um, let me check to make sure. Believe you're making an increase. Drape a little loop over your right hand needle. Right hand needle. Drape it over. Okay, super easy. And then just do the next direction, correct? Which is to knit two together. Enjoying the cricket match. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Doc and Hobo, for the helps. Knit two together. Repeat. Okay. So we repeat this. Yarn over. And knit two together. Repeat. Repeat from to ending with knit one. Okay. End up with a little eyelet over the yarn over. It's going to be like a little. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. <laughs> the edge of the neckline is going to be uh, like... Uh, Think you should finish next stream? Ah, uh, well, I'm hoping to finish the neckline today. Because this is like the next to last row. You never knew! Yes! I didn't know we yarned over in knitting. I've done it, obviously, many a times in crochet, but... So this should give the look of the of the uh, collar being uh, kind of I don't know peaked. There's little tiny peaks. I think there's only one row after this. How long have I been knitting? Just over a year. Just over a year. But um. I always tell people do not judge your skill off of mine because I picked up knitting quite easily.
There we are. Yarn over and knitting is used a lot. Nice. I've just never done a pattern that needed to do it yet. In fact, you should never judge your abilities off of other people's. As a, uh, as a practice. Although, I don't... I don't know. I don't think I'm that good at knitting. Although everybody tells me I'm good at knitting. We just get to do this for the rest of forever. But I am on the last two rows, I think. Now, one, two, three. Work as a buttonhole as before. Okay, I have a few more rows than I thought I did. Okay. I have a few more than I thought I did. That is all right, because the plain knit and pearl rows will go pretty quickly. They will go pretty quickly. You are. If you could knit as good as you crochet, would be really good at knitting. Oh, you get yourself ready for work on. You get yourself ready for work. You have yourself a good day at work. I appreciate you coming to hang out with us. Be good eggs, everyone, and remember Central Jersey isn't real. Aha! Gotta get the last word on that one. <laughs> Gotta get the last word on that one. Okay. This is gonna be a cute. This is gonna be so cute. It's gonna be so cute. I'm excited. Ad! Oh no, not the ads. Not the terrible ads. Okay, why does this take so long? E. E. We're getting there though. If I could stick my needle in the right hole, we could go a little faster, but this is my uh, my uh, own doing. We have one more butthole to make. I didn't even realize that we had an extra butthole to make. I thought that was going to be our last butthole, but we have one more. We have more buttholes. We have one more butthole. The cat was where we pushed everything off. Exactly. Exactly. It can't be flat. We would have a complete mess. So many things floating around in space. They wouldn't they wouldn't be able to function. Everything would be there it would be like refrigerators. Refrigerators and pop cans being thrown at us all day long. As comets. It would be problematic. Hello there. <gasps> Hello there. Welcome in raiders. Serenadia, how is your day going? How was stream if you have time to tell us? 
If not, you go take out your, you go take your doggy outside. I know that that's usually where you go just directly after you come in. So do please take care of dog if dog needs taken care of. But I appreciate the raid. I appreciate you coming in. Welcome in. Welcome in, raiders. I am doing the finishing lines of a cardigan today. Nah. Welcome in. Welcome in, cutie. Welcome in, Kohaku Moon. Moon. Or just eat it all the time without even stopping. <laughs> I get fat. No, why would I get I fat? Appreciate, I appreciate. I appreciate the fat? follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Serenadia, how was stream today? If you have time to answer. If you have time to answer, what were you working on? Eh. Okay. It was good just wrapping up the cleanup and you do have to go feed puppers. Yes, you go feed pupper. Pupper needs needs to be fed. You made some little wire <gasps> dream catchers. <gasps> Ooh, that sounds like a fun time and very beautiful. Very beautiful. <gasps> Welcome in. There's a sunny. Welcome in. You're knitting a triangle shawl that increases by four stitches every other row up to over 200 stitches per row, and it's not even half done. Oh no. Oh no. Shawls are something I don't know if I'll ever make, just because I don't know how much I would use a shawl. I get suggested shawl patterns a lot, but I don't know if I would actually use one, and therefore I'm hesitant to make a shawl, because I prefer to make things that are useful, or have something that I'll use. Felt the same way until you made your first one. Well, it's a, it's a sensory thing for me. I don't like uh, things that will fall around. I don't. I I have a problem with a lot of scarves too. So, I don't know if I'll ever make one unless it's for someone else. So here is the cardigan I'm working on. Uh, it's all in one piece, but you can see here that it's not together all the way. Uh, this is a front panel, this is a sleeve, this is the back panel, this is a sleeve, and then this is another front panel. Um, so it's all in one piece, but it's not all together. And uh, we're working on the neckline today. So. I'm excited. I'm excited to hopefully maybe get it somewhat completed today. Um, I was going to complete uh, off stream, but I did not complete it off stream. So therefore, we're still working on it today. Um, I have managed the first row of the last step in the pattern. I'm excited. I'm very excited. I think you would like working with super bulky yarn uh, to make a blanket. It's really nice when you can keep yourself warm with your work. That's why I like my, uh, that's why I like my Doctor Who scarf. Can you, can I convince you to complete it on stream someday? You can. You're twerking on it? Hi. Hi there, Redneck. Hi there. Hi, Tech. How is your day going? You eat it for every meal. Or just eat it all the time without even stopping. <laughs> Insane female. No, why would I get fat? Bread Welcome in. Bread makes you fat? Thank you for the follow. I'm going to try to complete the neckline on stream today, Weeble. I'm going to try to. We have one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven rows left. You like your shawl win? 
You like your shawl when you're laying in bed reading and want the blankets up, but they won't go around the shoulders. Oh, okay. You'll take the shawl and wrap it around your shoulders, then you're all cozy. I am doing swell, high tech. Swell. I'm excited. I'm excited for a sweater. I'm excited for a sweater. I'm almost there. I have, I have like seven rows left, which most of them are just plain pearl or knit rows, so they won't take a whole lot of time. They will not, in theory, take a whole lot of time. Problem is that you like the drape of thinner yarn, so it takes a billion stitches to get to decent size. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So I um sign in. My friend here in maybe in chat, maybe not in chat, probably working. Um, sent me a bunch of size one super fine yarn, and I can't wait to use it. But I know that it's going to take a lot of time. I do need to return in a second. I will return. I'm at that point in the day where I've had a lot of coffee. I'm thinking about making socks after this. Because like I was saying, uh, Sign In sent me a lot of uh, super fine yarn and there was a sock set in it that I am itching to try out on a pair of socks. That word can mean different things. <laughs> Fingering means a different thing around here. So this row we're getting little tiny eyelets. Hopefully little tiny eyelets. And then we have a few more rows. I didn't realize we were going to have another butthole row. Another couple rows of butthole left to do. But here we are. But there's like a, a cute like top that I want to try with the super fine yarn. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I use them to my advantage as well. That's why we talk about balls all the time. Is because I use I use those those terms that are innuendo y to my advantage. Gotta have a ball sack for your swooshy balls. <laughs> Auto mod catching everything today. We were we've been talking about buttholes all morning, so that's what we call buttons. Buttholes. Buttholes are buttonholes. I was showing off my butthole. I am excited. What? <laughs> Don't want to bleach the butthole by accident. Yeah. <laughs> you missed a jar jar. We, we did show off the butthole. I will be making another one, so so you will get to see another butthole.
But for now, for now, we are making lots of little tiny eyelid holes. Uh, and trying to purl this row as quickly as possible. As quickly as possible. Lurk off to find breakfast. Will you have yourself a good breakfast? I wish you luck in your journey to find a delicious and tasty and spectacular bre breakfast. And I'm also very jealous. <gasps> Pixie! Pixie! Good morning. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? How are you feeling? I'm, in particular, very, uh, very excited to know if you're doing better today. Okay. Almost, almost to the end of the row. Tomorrow is Thursday, which means I might want to start my busy today. You're doing better. I'm glad. I'm glad you're doing better. Need to kill the stream and just about everything. Oh, no. You can screen, screen share in a meeting. Well, good luck. Well, good luck, Azul. May your meeting go well and not be a meeting that is annoying and frustrating and... All of the things that everyone hates about meetings. Have yourself a lovely meeting. I'll try not to complete without you. <laughs> I'm terrible. To show that we are doing things with our week and not just sitting with our thumbs and watching Twitch streams, yeah? Oh, wait, you're not watching Twitch streams? <laughs> I'll deny it if anyone asks. Buy yourself a pink cow named it Strawberry. Evelyn decided she need needed a frog. Ah, uh, so she has a frog, Ted, she is calling it. That is cute. Look at my tiny little eyelid hole. I have a little eyelid hole. This is our sweater so far. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's hop on over to our Stream Raiders battle. Do the battles and then do the nits and then do the battles again, maybe. Because I'm not finished yet. I have not completed yet. Unfortunately. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay, a knit row it is. Pixie, that sounds heckin' cute, though. Amazing victory. Happy kittens, Xantath, Bew, Wandering Wizard, and Alubni with the item rewards. Congratulations. And next we move on to a boss battle. Let us fight. Let us fight. Fight to the death. Let us do it. And we go back to the nits. We go back to the nits. 
And hopefully not the hits. Tried to cut your fingerprint off with a bucket yesterday. Oh no! I have, on occasion, cut off my fingerprint as well. Or burnt it off. Uh, so I hope your hand is okay. I know the pain. I know the pain. Usually I goes for something a little sharper than a bucket, but, you know, it happens. I cut off part of my hand with a air conditioner once. <laughs> I think I still have the scar to prove it. It's on this poem. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but there is a little, like, crescent moon on my palm, like, right here. Where I cut off part of my hand with a, with an air, air, <laughs> with an air conditioner. Rolled the edge of a metal, oh no! Now you can only say that you injured yourself with a spoon twice in my life. Now you've been yourself with a bucket too. Yeah, you are very special. I I I feel you as someone who is just as special, accident prone wise. Uh, so we are kindred spirits, Pixie. Kindred spirits. Kindred spirits. Okay. I want to be speed. May the knitting gods grant me speed on this day. For like seven years running, you sprained your ankle every winter. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've been there though. I've been there though. It's just really hard to sprain my ankles. As you could imagine. I'm someone who could regularly walk on the sides of their feet with no pain or issues, so it's hard to sprain my- it's like difficult to sprain my ankles. I feel like if I had normal joints, I would sprain my ankles all the time. However, it's nearly impossible to sprain my ankle. The only time I've technically sprained my ankle, I think, was, um, uh, I was in eighth grade when I used to play basketball because I was taller than all the other kids. Uh, and then, you know, in high school they caught up, so I stopped playing basketball. Uh, we were playing, we had a practice and somebody, um, jumped and landed on my ankle. So, um, the force of someone... Instead of breaking an ankle, like you would think somebody landing on your ankle would do, mine only sprained because my ankle bends super far. <laughs> so, instead of it breaking, it just sprained the ligaments and uh, that's the only time I've sprained my ankle well, was when it was literally... Uh, literally uh, jumped upon that's how far it takes to uh, stretch my ankle in order to get any damage to my joint i am extra bendy Extra bends. Okay, we are making some progress. Every row I tick off, we get closer to the end. We're down to only two rows left of directions. Here for it. I'm 100% here for it. We have one more butthole to make. One more butthole. Um, next row is a pearl row. Then we have two rows for the, rows for the butthole. Then we have one row in bind off. So, one, 
three. Four or five. Five rows. But look at these cute little look at these cute little eyelids. Cute little eyelids. I'm excited. We do a pearl row and then we make buttholes. Okay. So in theory, within this uh, 25 minutes we have left until the Stream Raiders battle, I, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. You believe in me? You believe in me? Somebody needs to believe in me. Can I be speed? Or can will I fail? I would do a prediction, but people get mad at me every time I do predictions. So... I am hugging excited. Every time I look at these earrings, what part of the cardigan is that? A, it is a it's a uh it oh it's a highish collared cardigan. Let me get to the picture. Um, so it is actually it's not that high. This is what we're making. So, you see, um, it's hard to explain. I don't want to put this in my mouth so that I can, because I've got stitches on both things. Give me a second. Uh, no, I did. I the point was not to match. Hello, insane female. Welcome, welcome in. Thank you for the follow earlier. Um, so explain it further, where I can hold this up. Hopefully, I don't lose any stitches. So you see the collar here. Um, the where the eyelets are is going to fold over to make those peaks, like you see, and it's going to fold in, and you have to stitch together. The inside of the neckline. So these two buttonholes will become one buttonhole. Uh, stitch those together. It's a facing. We're making the inside of the of the collar right now. The inside of the neckline right now. I didn't mean to match the colors. I preferred the orange to the blue. Yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Is we're making the inside of the collar. It's faced just for a nice, neat, nice and neat finish. I prefer the orange to the blue because I do not want a sweater that exactly matches my hair. That would be weird. And plus, I had this, and I did not want to go purchase new yarns to make this, so I had this yarn available to me. And therefore, I decided to use it. Guess that's the nice thing about fiber arts, is you can choose what color you make things. And I like to choose colors. I like to choose colors. Okay. How horrible that would be to have the same colors as the pattern model? Yeah. Why would you want to match the pattern model? Just trying to be creative. Plus, my hair was actually this color when I started it. So I can't say I don't want it to be the same color as my hair because when I started making this, it was the same color as my hair. Hmm. 
my hair was uh the same color actually when i started this cardigan my hair was this color and then as i got to this color my hair was this color and then when i got to this color it was this color <laughs> And then I dyed it blue. Well, it was purple, but chat won't let me tell you that it's purple. They they don't believe it was ever purple to begin with. So. This is true. They would be rolling in money repeat patterns in different colors. Yeah. If you couldn't be, uh, if you couldn't choose your own colors. If you had to do the color specified, oh my goodness, that would suck. If if patterns were only sold as kits and you could only make them in in that, you couldn't get yarn anywhere else. Yike. Yike. Perfect pattern, but also uh having to put color on, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Someone looks at a pattern and they're like, but that's not the right color. My goodness, my goodness. Could you imagine being a pattern maker if somebody emailed you to be like, can you change all this whole, th this whole pattern to be the right colors for me? Oh man, that would be annoying, is all. It would be annoying. But I don't know, I'm glad we can be creative because I'm gonna have a lovely orange, orange card again. Yeah, yeah, exactly, like that. But theoretically, you could buy any color of, of embroidery floss and use it for your cross stitch, right? It would be like if you couldn't purchase other colors to use, so you were stuck with that kit and you couldn't, you couldn't just deviate from it. A dystopian craft world. Yikes. I like it, but I don't like these colors. It's like the colors don't matter. It's just the look of it, the shape of it, you know. Do you like that? Because I can do whatever color you want. Okay. We did a pearl row. Next two rows work buttonholes. Okay. So for the buttonholes, we knit three. Okie dokie. We need one, two, three, and then we cast off two. So we knit, knit, flip over, knit another one, and then slip that over. Now we have the bottom of the butthole. have the bottom of the butthole. Cross stitch kits are because people are aiming to make the exact image. You can freeform and make anything you want in any color, but still, yeah. Some colors is so minute. Yes, 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 yes. Shading makes a difference in an image. Yeah, it does. For sure. Believe me, um, I don't know, Pixie, I don't think you saw Minnie's cross-stitch on Discord, but shading makes quite the difference. Uh, 
um, when it comes to... Because look at that. Like, the shading really makes this picture. It makes this work. Makes it work, yeah. If there wasn't shading, this would be not as fantastic, but there's shading, and therefore it does look much better. Yeah, it would not pop the same. Ooh, Doc. Doc. We weren't going to do another Disco Chantel, but this is fabulous looking. Look at that. This is what Doc is making. Just a pattern pick, not yours. But Doc. I am excited to see what you make. I'm excited to see how this goes. Schmexy. Schmexy. Yeah. Secret pattern you're working on is all flat color. It's a Mandela geometric pattern. Ooh. Ooh. The, um, it might be uh, a pattern that includes pad, uh, booby pads. Booby pads. <laughs> it might have booby cups. Some patterns do include booby cups. You just crochet around the booby cups, I assume. To hold les boobs. Oh, we are almost there. Yes, you can do booby pads. We like booby pads. So that people don't see our booby nips. No pads in your like. Things are going to be peeking through. Nobody wants a nip slip when their nip is still... Sa safely underneath their item of clothing that they're wearing. <laughs> Crochet has a lot of holes. <laughs> you do not have to have them, but yeah. Yeah, it, sometimes you want them. Depends on how you, how you want your nips uh, secured, not secured, covered up. Do you want some shaping? Uh, you know, lots of options. Lots of options. I myself prefer my my parts to be covered. But that is personal preference. Okay. Almost there, and then we have to finish the top of the buttholes, and then we only have uh, one more full knit row, and then we get to bind off. Are we excited? We're getting there. Almost three rows. Only three rows left. Put me in a big old blanket where everything but toes is covered works for you. <laughs> Not have a nip slip because the pattern you'll be using is finger. Okay. Finger yarn. Two millimeter or 1.75 millimeter hook. Yeah, there will be no nip slippage in that. The holes will be so minuscule. Okay. Pearl and work in the top of the butthole. Let us go. Let's finish this butthole. Hopefully in the next 10 minutes. We can finish this. We can bind off. 
I don't know. I don't know if we'll make it, but I'm gonna try my darndest. Nips and buttholes. Is it Sunday? No, it's not. But we've been in a particular mood today. Usually we only get this thirsty on the weekends. <laughs> typically. Typically. But you know, we're all having that kind of Wednesday. That kind of Wednesday. Hydrate, Pixie. Thank you for the hydrate. I appreciate it. I think that's actually the first hydrate that I've actually hydrated with water. For my thirst. Thank you. I was thirsty. I was actually thirsty. I was actually thirsty. Physically, not just mentally. I forgot to get myself water at the beginning of stream, so the first couple uh, hydrates were, were actually caffeinates. Had to make do with what I had. Need to make some more room. Slide those down. Yeah, so I think uh, after I finish this, I want to try to do a pair of socks. And I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to see if sign in will walk me through doing two at a time. Because, uh, who wants to do one sock at a time when you can do two socks at a time? Or maybe I'll start them off stream. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not super far away from finishing not just this, but also the Magikarp hat. So we will have room for new projects. We will have room for new projects, so we will see. We'll have room for one. Well, the crochet project that I'm going to start up is is going to be what I need to. Um, if, ooh, new whips, yes, because we're going to finish two things this week, I think. If not, we'll finish a magic art hat next week. Um, depends on if I work on that tomorrow. Because I'm streaming twice on Friday, so we will see. We shall see. We shall see. We will have lots of extra time on Friday. Approximately two extra hours of time on Friday. But I have to work on something spring related on Friday night. Yarn cake holder pattern supposed to help from yarn from falling apart, you think, as you use them. Interesting. Interesting. So I don't have enough yarn on this ball to get me through. Ooh! My apologies, I forgot the top of the butthole. Butthole, return to me. I long for the butthole to be completed. Okay, let's complete this butthole. 
complete the heck out of this bottle. <laughs> Did the measurements for the big figment project and the size you decided on will be too big? Now you need to figure out what to do. Oh no. Okay. Ready? We ready? Prepare your eyes and your bodies for this. A little tight of a butthole. Because I forgot to put in an extra stitch. I only did one stitch in the butthole. We need two stitches in the butthole. Heck. Put the, put the wrong amount of stitches in said butthole. Now I've got to try, try to butthole again. Now we shall have two buttholes. Two in the butthole. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. The sides of the butthole are a little tight. <laughs> Sorry about this if you have a problem with us talking about buttholes. I'm sorry. I apologize. But now we should have ourselves a butthole. It will stretch out over time, I'm sure. But that is it. That is it. We have uh, two more rows. We have a knit row and a bind off. Exciting. Exciting. As buttholes do. <laughs> yes. As they do. We shall correct that over time to make it big enough for a button to fit. We had to make it big enough for it to fit, you know? That is all. Hey. There we go. Weave that in. And then we can speed up a little bit. We can speed up a little bit. After that stitch. There we go. I don't think I'm going to get to the binding off before the Stream Raiders battle, though. That was kind of part of the goal, but, uh... The next row is the bind-off row, so really, we don't have too much to worry about time-wise. Uh, we can finish up this row, we can do the Stream Raiders battle, and then we can uh, bind off. And then we're done with all of the knitting of this project. That was kind of the goal of the day, was to finish the knitting of this project. I'm excited. Ever hear about the guy who was pulled over one day? The cop asked what kind of work the guy did. He said, I'm a butthole stretcher. <laughs> the cop asked what that's about. The guy said, well, we start when they're really small and fresh and work them slowly. And they start to get bigger and bigger until they're about six whoa <laughs> that's 
that's that's that's a big butthole. Um, to battle. To battle, we must go. Boop. The cop says, what do you do with a six-foot butthole? The guy says, we give them a badge and put them on the side of the road. <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Sag. Sag. We have to go on a loss. We have to end on a loss. We go on a loss, which is disappointing, but I do not have another half hour to wait for the next battle. So we are going to finish this knitting and then we are going to call it a day. Call it a day. What? Yeah, I am starting to get a uh, grumbly tummy, and therefore uh, I do not want to stream much longer than it takes to finish said binding off of this neckline. Disaster, exactly, I know, right? But, but, I need to take care of myself. And I've been live for four and a half hours, which is a pretty decent sized stream if you ask me. So we will finish this row, bind off, and then we will escape to somebody else's stream so that I can eat. So that I may eat some food. Because I am hungry. Question is, what do I want to have for lunch? That is always a question. That is always the question. I had cheesecake for breakfast, of all things. But only later. Honestly, eat it for every meal, or just eat it all the time without even stopping. <laughs> I get fat. No, why would I get Girl fat? Girl gamer, Jack. makes you fat. Thank you for the Forever follow. Makes you fat? Welcome in. Welcome in. We're excited to have you. We're excited to have you. It was, it was great having you in and meeting you today. Okay, time to bind off pearl wise. So binding off. You do the stitches and then you will take the first one and bring it over the second one. And you repeat that until you have no more stitches left on the needles. Oh my goodness. You have to be kind of careful because you're the whole time you're doing this, your stitches are gonna wanna jump off your needle and you can't let them. I have to be very careful. Oop. We do the boops and then we we finish this off. I'm excited. Because then all I have left to do is the hand stitching, which I can definitely probably do tonight. And I knew very well maybe seeing this on me tomorrow morning. I 
to think of what to eat. I don't know what to eat. There's nothing, like, easy to cook. <gasps> nothing easy to cook in my house right now, so... Little disappointing, but I'll find something. I will find myself something to eat. Uh, it does not want to go over. There we go. There we go. We're going. It's one thing we're doing. We're going. Oh, uh, why did I have to? <sighs> Binding off can be so heckin' frustrating! Because, like I said, bitches want to be jumping off your needles. You got some cotton candy grapes on Friday? They were already bad this morning. Oh, why Why would you even do cotton candy grapes? That sounds terrible to begin with. I like my fruit to taste like fruit. Is that just me? Or do people, do people like their fruit to taste like candy? Okay. Every stitch I bind off, I'm like doing a, uh... <sighs> like a, can I manage it? You have kids, enough said. True. Kids do see the things that taste like candy, and they're like, ah, things that ca taste like candy must have accurate, accurate kid, kid knowledge right there. Everything should taste like candy. Stay on the needle, you heckin' stitches. I'm like holding my breath way too often doing this. Because I, I keep on worrying that I'm going to drop stitches and then ruin this whole project in the very last step. You ever have that feeling with a project that you're doing? Or you're working on it and like you're on the last step so you're like I'm gonna heck and destroy this anxiety my brain is just telling me that everything is gonna go wrong right at the last last step I mean it's not the last last step because the sewing you know is gonna be a thing that I but like, I can't mess up the sewing part of it. You know, nothing's going to get destroyed while I'm hand sewing it. But, uh, if I were to drop all of my stitches right now, you know, that's like my worry, is that I'll drop all of my stitches, like, at the last step. Get that more in woodworking. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I got that way with, like, blacksmithing, too. Where you're, like, on the last step of something. Like, grinding. You're grinding it or something. Like, a, a small thing. And you're like, if I slip up here, I'm gonna destroy this. And it just gives you that much more anxiety. <laughs> And then you get hyper-focused on not doing it, so your chances of uh, doing it 
or higher. Because you're anxious about, you know, breaking the thing that you've been working so diligently on for months and months. In months and months and months. I'm excited though. I'm excited. We've only got this much left to bind off. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just the closer I get, even though there's less stitches on it, I'm still getting more and more anxious. Because it's like, ah, oh, the last stitch, you could ruin it on the last stitch, you could do it, you could do that, you could ruin it on the last one. <laughs> nah, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Nobody do anything to scare me those last uh, 10 or 15 stitches. You got this. Oh, thank you for the encouragement. I'm excited. And just, you know, self-doubt, McGee. Ah. My goodness. My goodness. What color button should I use for this, by the way? Anybody have any suggestions on what buttons I should use? What color buttons? The ones that are pictured on the pattern are black. Do I go with black? Do I go with something a little more creative? Ooh, dark brown. Ooh, that could look really good. Could look really good. My tummy's grumbling so loud. Or like a nut brown. Ooh, these are good options. Options. I, of course, have to also see what color buttons I have, but I think black would be a little too harsh, was what I was thinking, is that black would be a little too harsh against these colors. That was what I was thinking anyways. The black would be a little too much. Oh, we're almost there. We're about to complete. Ah. Are we, are we ready? Are we ready? We are almost there. Last five.
Left five. Almost. <sighs> Leave this long for the sewing. And ready. Two free needles. And we know what that means. That means that we have finished the knitting of this cardigan. And this is going to fold over. And we're going to have some little peaks. But, although we have not finished sewing our underarms, so therefore this is more a shawl than a cardigan, this is going to look something like this. It's going to look something like that. Thank you! It's gonna look something like this. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> yep, that's gonna fold down. And we're gonna have ourselves a little collar. Yeah, yeah, we're done with all of the knitting. We're done with all of the knitting. It's just sewing now. It's just sewing. All it is, is just sewing together this one seam, the facings, uh, and that's it. That's it. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to do the side slash underarm sleeves sleeves tonight and then we will have ourselves a ding dang cardigan thank you thank you for all the hype everyone i am so heckin excited i'm so heckin excited it'll look like this it'll look like that It's going to be so cozy. It's going to be so heckin' cozy. I'm excited. It's going to look heckin' cool with my hair, that's for sure. So, yep, just fold that in. Because it's not going to be an outwards collar. It's going to be folded in and have peaks. Little peaks. Little peaks. Like that. And my goodness, my goodness, I'm excited. Are you excited? I think you are. We finally finished something. I mean, it's not the first thing we finished, but it's, you know, it's the biggest thing we finished. And yes, I'm saying finished because we finished with the knitting. And that's what we were here for was the knitting. So all I have to do is hand sew. So, so, let us find someone to raid on over to. Raid on over to. I, I'm hopefully going to have it done and sewed up tomorrow before I start stream. I, I'm hoping to finish it today so that I can wear it for you tomorrow. Although it kind of looks cute like this too. Raid Bim. I was I was going to look to see what Bim was doing, but that was my top option. That was indeed my top option because Bim. Ooh, do not play. 
Um, sometimes it's playing games. But if they are working, they are working on their lanterns. So we can head on over to many. And we can see how that cross stitch is going. Great minds. Yeah, great minds. So let us thank all of the thanks we have to thank and head on out to say hello to the Bimini. Our dear friend Bimini. Whomst, guys, guys, is getting close, getting close to a follower goal. So, um, Cookie, hey there. Hey there, thank all the thanks, I will. So, Minnie is getting close to their follower goal of 420. So if you have not, if you have not followed Minnie, please do, I would love for Minnie to get to her goal today. It's okay for you to be lurking. It's okay for you to be lurking. You can lurk wherever you want, including in the bathroom, Cookie. You're allowed. <laughs> I will thank the thanks and everyone when we go over to Minnie's channel please do drop Minnie a follow because they are um only I think seven away from their follower goal of 420 only seven and I think we can manage that as a group so I'm gonna thank my thanks let me thank my thanks are we ready are we ready I want to thank OS for the gift sub to Upshelly. Callis Stitches, thank you for the follow. Coffee Munchlax, thank you for the follow. Ellie Not So Smelly, welcome in. I appreciate the follow. Monostradamus, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Geeky Nerd Demon, I appreciate you. And I appreciate your follow. KC Neil. Thank you for the follow. Serenadia, thank you for the raid. Ko, Kohaku Moon, thank you for the follow. Insane Female, 84, thank you for the follow. Gamer Girl J, thank you for the follow. And I want to thank everyone who came in, said hi, hung out with me in chat, stuck around this whole time, even if you were lurking in the background or the bathroom, you know, whatever you vibe with. Uh, I want to thank everybody who just came in and hung out with me today. I want to wish for you all the most spectacular of mornings, afternoons, evenings, or nights, and I love you all so very much. But until next time, bye-bye.